Hello, hello. I don't know why my captions from when I ended last stream were still there, but they were still there. That is fine. Although I am noticing that I they, the caption said Bub instead of Bud. And I'm... Wow. Bub. Bob and Bub. I don't even have music playing. Sorry, I've distracted myself. I've successfully distracted myself. That's on me. That's on me. Hello, everybody. Welcome on into the stream. Hi, Flam. Hi, Kezrin. How you doing? Let me get that hydration check. Oh, my LaCroix can is upside down. Oh, I set it down upside down. That's the second time I've done that in two days. Why do I keep doing this? Hey, guys, I have some sad news. My LaCroix are gone. This is my last LaCroix I have with me right now. I went to grab it out of the fridge, and I, I was lied to. I thought there was more LaCroix left in the fridge because the box felt heavy. Turns out, the box is stuck to the bottom of the fridge. The LaCroix box has been, like, glued to the bottom. I don't know how. Something sticky got there, and it glued it to the bottom of the fridge. So what I thought was a heavy box of LaCroix because it's full of LaCroix was actually a stuck box that is now empty. This is horrible. So, this is my last LaCroix for the day, so I'm gonna pop it open and we're all going- We're all going to appreciate the crispness. Hi, L. Hi, Cypher. Welcome on in. When you do a LaCroix check, I'm gonna do it anyways. Alright, here we go! Alright, nice. There it is. We got it. Hi, Sky Alpha. Why is every- Why are you dark blue for me? My stream chat in OBS has you as dark blue. Cypher too. Why are you guys different colors than you are in the actual screen recording? I've never understood why my OBS chat and my live chat decide to be different. Is there a divorce arc happening? I think so. Anyways, sip the LaCroix. I've been blue. That dark of a blue though. Well, no. Maybe you have been- Sky Alpha's not usually that dark of a blue. I say that with complete confidence. Sky Alpha, if I'm wrong, don't tell me. Don't ruin my confidence. Please. It's so weak. You can't do this to me. Oh, who's excited? It's been so long, and since Spellbound is finally back, and we had our first episode on Sunday, guess what we get to- Hatsune Miku! I'm talking. Thank you. We get to do spellbound art again. I don't have to hide things from you guys. Thank goodness. That was horrible. I had all these projects I was doing. And then I always had to just be like, I'm busy. <laughs> what are you busy with? Busyness. They couldn't know. I couldn't tell you guys I was making an anime intro for spellbound. I couldn't say that. To surprise you with it i had to throw you into it on the first stream back i had to give you guys a beautiful starting soon screen art made by the wonderful gob gob is great and then when you guys thought oh stream time oh we're gonna chat a little bit oh it's almost time to get into the lore no i threw you into a freaking anime opening i'm very proud of that very very proud of that I hope you enjoyed the surprise. Gosh, I was so excited for that. I was also so freaking nervous, you guys. I was so excited. However, the night before Spellbound started, I had a dream that I was trying to go live and everything was broken and everyone else was going live and I wasn't on yet and I was trying to make my starting screen and stuff cool and it work and blah, 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 blah. And it was all broken, and I woke up, and I was like, oh, gosh. Now I have to do that IRL and hope that dream doesn't come true. It didn't, luckily. I will say, though, did anybody notice that I could, for some reason, not shoot my crossbow in the beginning of the stream? That was not intentional. I promise Goldie is a really good shot. I couldn't get my crossbow to shoot. I didn't know why. I was like, this is the shoot button! <laughs> Guys, I don't know why my crossbow wasn't shooting. I really don't know why. I was internally freaking out. I was like, shoot. Gosh darn you. I was shooting just fine before I went live. It's okay. I also had a dream that spell that went to crap the first episode. But it didn't. We're fine. The, the worst that happened was I couldn't shoot my crossbow. 
I don't know why, because I promise you guys I know how to use Minecraft crossbows. They're one of my preferred weapons. I don't know why it wouldn't shoot. I'm telling you, I was clicking the right buttons. Flam, Flam, I honestly think... <laughs> What if I just pull up my, my VOD real quick? What if I just pull up my VOD and point out my, like, internal struggle of the crossbow for all to see? What if we just do that real quick? Hold on. <laughs> it was so bad. I don't know why I couldn't get it to shoot. I don't know why it wouldn't shoot. I was like, I'm doing what you're supposed to do to shoot a crossbow. I'm, ma I'm taking all the steps. This is how it works. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Can I get this, um, can I get a, should I pull it up on my gameplay screen actually? Here, hold on. I'll do it. I'll do it on my gameplay screen and we can swip, swip? We can swip? Yeah, we can switch over. And I'll show you guys my struggle with the crossbow. Boom! We're in studio mode. You guys don't get to see anything. <laughs> I'm so glad that I know what studio mode is. There was a time, there was a time that I didn't. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing during that time when I didn't realize studio mode was a thing. I don't know what I thought the button studio mode meant. I just saw this button in front of my face and it was just always like, ah, it's just there for looks. Look pretty, you know? Huh? Okay. I need, I need a window capture. Yeah, window capture. Oh, it grabbed exactly what I needed it to grab. I love when it does that. I love when it does that. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, oh. Something just happened. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, hold on. Guys, I messed up. <laughs> my screen went black. Well, that's a good start to screen. Good thing y'all can't see what I did. But just know that my entire gameplay screen is just black and floating captions. Where did everything go? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, I got it back. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Don't ever do what I did if you can help it. If you can help it, don't be like me. Okay, cool. I'm glad we could have this talk. Remember, kids, don't be like me. Everyone else is like, I want to be like this person because they seem so cool. No, 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 you don't want to be like me. Uh, my, my greatest success in life are the days where I don't run into a wall. And that should honestly just be the bare minimum, but no. Anyways, uh, let me, uh switch over now because I think I got it working okay I cropped it I just want to show everybody the part where I could not get my crossbow to shoot I I don't know why it wouldn't shoot here I don't even have my browser sound on I don't think nor do I have my actual audio look at this look at this I didn't I couldn't get it to shoot are you seeing this I was trying so hard. I thought you were telling me to leave. I'm like, I'm, I was dead concentrated. L, I could not focus on you because all I could think about was why won't my arrow shoot? I, want, I, I just, just, I was just like, yeah. please, please, I don't know. please. I would think it, but I please, would it wouldn't shoot. And obviously, me, a liar, was like. Uh, 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 you know, I'm just trying to get used to this new crossbow. It's different than my old one. <laughs> improv, baby. If things don't go well, fix it via improv. Boy, did I improv. I was, I, I improv. So let's all just pretend that Goldie, can, do you even tune a crossbow? You know how you tune a violin? Let's just pretend that Goldie was tuning her crossbow. Like you would a violin. But it's a crossbow. Look at my little mouse. Um, that was my lack of attention really coming through just then. I had tuna fish. Yeah? You tuna fish? 
good for you. Okay, uh, it was so I felt really aggressive. I got it. Off I just my oh, I'm just gonna mute this. It's just watch me try. Nope, didn't didn't shoot. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know. I was like, okay, go. It wouldn't shoot. And then I got it, and I don't even know what I did differently because I did the same thing that I'd been doing the whole time. Gold and then model looks I just. So good. <sighs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys like the Goldie model. Thank you, thank you. I, I worked really hard on it. And honestly... Okay. <laughs> I made the new thumbnail for the VOD. Because I uploaded the VOD late last night. And the thumbnail that I made... Um, I accidentally oversaturated Goldie's hair and gills. But it looks really good. So I might just sneakily color change the model to match the freaking VOD thumbnail I made. Because I oversaturated Olive kicked butt with all her art for season two, y'all. Guys, I was working so freaking hard. I, I, I made this overlay. I made this overlay. I made the model. Um, change it a bit every stream. I <laughs> know. Uh, I made an entire animation. Honestly, that's about it. Um, but the animation took a lot out of me. The animation took a lot out of me. I just don't know why this crossbow wouldn't shoot, you guys. I was so upsetty spaghetti. It was shooting here. Like, I finally got it shooting. But I don't know why it wouldn't shoot for the first, like, five minutes of stream. Because I was... Guys, I promise I know Minecraft. I swear to you I know Minecraft. I was doing the right thing. But the thing that was supposed to happen when you did the right thing wasn't happening. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I am gonna say, though, that it's possible that caption color might change every stream a little bit. Because I- I don't know where I got this- is that black or dark brown? I don't know. I changed my caption color to white for today's stream. So I don't know what color that actually was, but it's fine. No one cares. <laughs> Spot the difference every stream for the caption color. Anyways, anyways, that's what I wanted to do there. I wanted to share my inability to freaking, um, shoot a crossbow. I'm really not a mango. I'm like the furthest thing from a mango. Do I have any art? Oh, who wants to see the first drawing I made for season two Goldie, which is when I landed on her design? Um, she actually had different goggles at first, and then I realized that- Did I not thank Broom for the sub? Or did Broom sub- Broom subbed! And I just focused on the- <laughs> Broom, I'm so sorry, you subbed! And I just paid attention to what you said and my brain did not, like, gather that you'd subbed. I- I don't know what my brain- I don't know how I thought you were speaking to me with, like, audible words. Thank you for the sub at tier 1 for five months. <laughs> Broom, I'm so sorry. Guys, my brain is gone. Why are my- where'd my captions go? Oh! Oh, they're there! Whoa. So confused. Okay. Percy and Goldie are going to be besties, I can assure you. They both whittle! Chat, they both whittle! Hold on, I don't like that you can see my untitled <laughs> freaking uh, files above my screen. Get, let me- let me fix that. No one needs to see that I don't name stuff. Oh shoot, that didn't work. Come on. Be gone. Oh gosh, you got too big. I'm- Oh gosh, I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life. It's fine. Nothing's happening. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. It's a financial exchange that renews itself. You don't have to acknowledge it every time. But I will anyways, because you're making it a financial exchange for me. Speaking of financial exchange, I used an ATM for the first time today. I know what you're thinking. Olive, you're 21. Why have you never used an ATM? Boy, I ain't even ever seen one up close before until today either. <laughs> I was on the phone with my parents because I was like, what do they look like? And my dad goes, it's going to say in all bold words, ATM. And it didn't. It did not. It did not say ATM. Bro, who the heck uses an ATM anymore? Me now, apparently. I needed money. I actually legitimately had nothing on me and I had to go pick up my dog from the groomers. <laughs> and I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> I 
I didn't have any. I literally, I didn't have money. I didn't have money, and I really needed to pick my dog up. I really needed to pick my dog up, and I didn't have money, and I was freaking out. Then I got money. And oh my gosh, James Dusk, thank you for the six, the six gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. What the heck? Congratulations to the sub receivers. Congratulations, Relic, Sky Alpha, O8, Beyond, Oasis, Beyond, Beyond Oasis, it's Ghost, and a banana sauce. Ink, dang. Dang. Little Lucky Duckies. I don't know why I went through the names. I just felt like it. <laughs> I just felt like going through the names. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, James. Thank you, thank you, and welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. I've distracted myself. Goldie Art. Goldie Art. I'm gonna show you guys the first drawing I did of Season 2 Goldie. Oh, shoot. We got Tom Warp. All right, there we go. Oh, I look really squished. I look- I got really, really squished. Am I okay? Probably not. Probably not. Um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Found it. Got it. So this was the uh, first drawing I ever made. This was when I finally landed on the season two design. This is what we got. Let me get my uh, art tablet pulled up because I always forget to do that. There we go. As you can see, She's got, I don't know if anyone noticed this, um, on the VTuber, but she's got little fangs. I can actually pull up the, uh, gosh darn, I can pull up the thumbnail as well and you'll see she's got some chompers on her. I absolutely love her. I love her so, so much. Okay. I actually got to copy and paste this image. Here we go. You can see she's got little chompers. She's got little chompers on her. Her little front, her front teeth, her upper teeth are also a little bit longer, so she's got a little bit of fangs. Um, yeah, she changed a bit. Where's my pen? How old is Goldie now? Is she drinking age? No. Why is that your question? She's still a kid. She's like in the range of 10, 11, 12. Like she's not even, she's not even in the like teens yet. Goldie's fake sc smile scared me. Good. Good. Goldie, um, actually, I think I have a drawing to, uh, help put this into view. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta find it. I have too many doodles. Did I name it? I'm sure I saved it. Alright, I gotta, I gotta scroll through my doodles to find this thing. I doodled something one time, and I'm pretty, I'm like... 13% sure I saved it. Only 13%. So I'm actually really insecure. I might not have saved it. But I'm looking. If I didn't save it, I know I sent it to Flam, so I'll just go through our media and copy-paste it. I might not have saved it. Sucks to suck. Alright, I'm going through our media, Flam. Where the heck is our media? Where's our media, Flam? How do I look through our media? I know how to do it on the phone. I don't know how to do it on the computer, which I feel like it should be simpler on the computer. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Where's the option? Where's the... Gosh... Gosh darn! Gosh darn! I'm trying to find a drawing for the chat. This is why you should... Chat, this is why you should always save your stuff. Don't be like me. Search top... Do I just click, do I just search top? Search top. But like, I want to just look through the, the freaking images we've sent. Like, just in general. Like, just in, just in general. Gosh darn. What if I type in the word Goldie? I've said the word Goldie so much in my, in my, oh gosh. Oh gosh. My goodness gracious. Where is it? I feel like I should have found it already. Uh. Hello? Okay, so in Discord, <laughs> on your top right corner of the chat, there yeah. is a search function. If yeah. you click inside of the search function, you can go to has, link, embed, or file. Oh! Have in it. oh I'm so blind. I know you are. <laughs> call you or else I was going to have to scream. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so blind. Hey, I just found the image I sent from you from the funny, the funny Nightwing thing. I engage in violence against men to satisfy my urge to be close to them. Me? <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm just laughing at stuff now. Okay, where's the thing? Where is the thing? Are you, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the one sketch I sent of Goldie trying to smile. Oh my gosh, I found bald Goldie. I'm never gonna find this. No, you're not. We talk to each other too much. Chat, what if I give up? <laughs> I found it! <gasps> never give up! <laughs> never give up, never what? Or never give in, never- I don't freaking know. I found it, guys! Guys, <laughs> I found it. I- um, <clears throat> is Goldie wearing an armored vest? Um, no, she's got, like, a shirt on underneath, uh, but it's- she- it, she's got- <sighs> my br I need to breathe. Hold on. <laughs> I just had a stroke. I went through so much to get to this image that I think my brain is just gone for the rest of the stream. <laughs> I went through so much. I also don't know why no why Flam doesn't have a PNG anymore. Where did he go? Oh, my friends are turned off. I have to turn my friends on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the PNG. The PNG was amazing. <laughs> Chat, you know what I mean. You know what Kenna I knew. Mean. Kenna knew why I said I was like that. Kenna knows. <laughs> Kenna understands. <sighs> Million cheesecake. If you're talking about the drawing, this is just a sketch of the gray background. You're probably not colorblind, <laughs> but I hate to break it to you. If you don't know you're colorblind by the time you can uh, successfully write sentences in chat, I'm not sure what to tell you. Um, that was really yeah. aggressive. <laughs> I'm gonna end this call because I'm uncomfortable in the way I'm that sorry. you just that. No, I'm sorry, no! I will die alone, everybody. I die alone. Anyways, I found the art. I found it. This is Goldie trying to smile. She kind of forgot how trauma... Hot, hot diggity dog trauma. Bye, Flam! Thank you, Flam! Sorry for traumatizing you, Flam! I love you, Flam! Sorry, Flam! <clears throat> All right. My bad. <laughs> Today's episode of how many mistakes will I make? The answer may surprise you. Telling uh, if you're colorblind is actually pretty hard if people around you don't care enough. Uh, I guess that's true. I'm pretty sure I am uncomfortable with your phrasing. I meant that I had to click the on button on the on the tab named my friends. Oh, I lied. It's not named my friends. It's named my friends because I misspelled friends. So it says F R I N D S. I had to turn it on. That's why you weren't showing up. I had it turned off. So I had to turn it on. That's the name of the tab that I turned on. I had to turn on the tab named my friends. Anyways, guys, this is Goldie. This is Goldie trying to practice her smile, which she definitely did before going back to the village. Did she succeed? No. No, she did not. She's still terrifying. <clears throat> Anyways, chat, if you have any questions about Goldie that I can answer, throw them at me. I'm now paying attention. I am no longer struggling with figuring out where my attention span is. For now. We'll see. Anyways, there's been a few changes in this design. Her uh, gills and tail are more feathery. Can I sit at her dinner table? Probably not. <laughs> You think she's cool? She, I mean, sit at your own risk of being stared at awkwardly. Hi, Wildflower. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, I'm still in the call. I never left the call. I was just in an empty call by myself. Tell me you're lonely without telling me that you're lonely. Anyways, does anybody have some favorite parts of the season two, episode one stream? We're, we're doodling. It's a doodle day. And my stabilizer is up to, like, the freaking max for some reason. I'll just do some doodles. It will always be funny that Goldie has hind legs while Perm doesn't. I mean, I feel like I've stopped drawing them as hind leg-like. Like, do I have, um, a recent drawing of her? If you... 
I like Perlest a lot. I am biased. You don't say. You're, you biased? Oh, guys, look. It's the first drawing I ever made of Goldie. What went wrong? <laughs> How does this turn into this? How many wrenches does Goldie have? Um, she usually only has, like, she keeps one on her to use, and then she has spares for throwing. She does have to throw a good amount of wrenches. The wolf that Goldie talked to is creepy. Bro, the wolf freaked Goldie out, and now that you've said it, let's do a doodle. <laughs> now that you've reminded me. Now that you've reminded me. Goldie was very much not okay with the wolf. And then and then when when Shiva went to talk to Newt, Goldie was like, Hey, you back off. You back off. I'm watching you. I'm watching you so closely right now. Oh, also hydration check. I will do that right now. If I can open this bottle. Alright. Chetalottle has a knife. Lovely. Lovely. Alright. Do a little doodle. What wolf? I'm already I'm already behind no Oh no. Relics doesn't know about the wolf that freaked the heck out of Goldie and L. I love how after walking away, Goldie and L both just started going. <laughs> just freaking out because that's literally how you react in real life when someone is making you uncomfortable and you get away and you're like <laughs> i am finally done with all the appointments of the day let's freaking go congratulations on surviving both of them went ick <laughs> icky 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 no 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 all right let's try and get she but freaked me out they have an intense energy yeah yeah, they do. Very intense. And I didn't know- so, me as a person, I didn't know anything about Shiba's character. So I didn't know what Shiba's personality was like. So that, I was just sitting there like, oh, this is the person- oh, I'm drawing on the wrong layer. Hey guys, I'm sad. It's fine, I didn't get very far in it. I'll just- I'll just cry. I'll just cry. Actually, wait. Wait, wait, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Okay. Chat, you saw nothing. I wasn't drawing on the wrong layer. I wasn't drawing on the wrong layer. I would never draw on the wrong layer. I'm too too talented to do that. Too too talented. What? There we go. They'll never know. Who's gonna know? No one's gonna know. Why is my eraser just set to opacity? Why did past me ever do this? Okay. Okay, the interactions that Goldie and SBL has just makes me so happy to see them getting along. At least. <laughs> yes, uh, mid-season, they were not really- they were hardly on talking, uh, what is it called? Talking level? Talking- I don't even know. Talking- there's a word! There's like an actual word for this. Terms! Thank you! Oh my gosh. You'd think I would remember the word term, but apparently not. Apparently not. Which is funny. Sorry, term. Forgot that the word that also doubles as your name existed. My bad. They definitely have grown in the hiatus, in the time where Goldie has just been on her own. I think I said this last stream, but I will say it again for anyone who didn't catch it. Um, Goldie never went back to the village during the entire hiatus time and, like, the rest of the fam living at the summer house. Others visited... Goldie, she never step book. Step book. <laughs> she never step back. Guys, I think I'm having a stroke. I think I'm having a stroke and I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, stepped back in the village. So, episode episode 1 of season 2, that was her first time. <laughs> That was her first time back to the village. Guys, I didn't mean to say step book, and I don't know why I said it. I don't know why I said step book. It was weird. Oh no, Goldie was stepping on books. No. No. She wasn't. She wasn't, I promise. She just... Eh. Guys, I'm gonna draw what Goldie's, like, teeth look like. So I can ex so, so you can just properly understand. Hold on. She doesn't smile like that. Why'd I do that? That was she doesn't smile. 
send help. She doesn't smile. She does smile, but it's very terrifying. Okay, let's just... Oh, freaking... Okay. How do you draw a character's mouth when they just never freaking smile? Okay. So she's still got the one tusk fang or whatever. That's longer. The other one's still not really caught up. Also, I tilted this one too much. My specialty, not drawing the tusks right. It's my special, special skill. My very, very special skill that I wish I could get rid of. Because I would love to actually draw the tusks successfully. But no. No. Um, and then she's got, she's got her little teeths that kind of stick out. Kind of. They're kind of- I never draw them right either, but I love them anyways. I draw them better when her mouth is open. Like, you can see it better- <laughs> Wrong drawing. You can see it better here. She's got the little teeths that just stick out right there. Probably would have been better in red. And they're cute! It's just her little teeths. Her little teeths. Alright, that was my- that was- I had to. I had to. It was very important for me to, to explain her her little teeths. Bro needs braces? No! No, she doesn't! She's adorable! She's a little cutie patootie. I love how I'm calling her a cutie patootie and she would kill me if she heard that. She'd be like, ah, shut up and die. Okay. Call Goldie cute at your own risk. But yeah. Um... She is around, so I don't have, like, a specific age for her. She doesn't really have a specific age, but she is, uh, basically in the range of 10, 11, 12. That sort of range is where she's at currently, uh, and where she will be for the season two. She's not four anymore! She grows up so fast. It's the trauma. It's the trauma. That's what happens when you get traumatized at a young age. Whoops. How, how unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Little teeths. Little teeths. Okay. Ah, no! <laughs> Every time. Every time. There we go. There we go! <laughs> you guys, once again, saw nothing. Nothing at all. I am also playing Goldie Season 2 playlist, so the songs you are currently hearing, please tell me that my music is playing, yes it looks like it is, are Goldie Season 2 playlist songs. And I think there was one more I meant to add earlier today about Mimi for Gore. What song did I not add? I think I got the Jackrabbit song. No, I didn't. No, that's... That's the song I didn't add. Hold on, I gotta add a song to the playlist. It's very important to me. I gotta add it to the playlist. It's also currently the song that I've just been listening to on repeat. Actually, I'll play it for you guys right now. It's my jam. Turning it up because it's my jam. Uh, I need to add this to Goldie Season 2. There you go. It's just, it scratches my brain so good, you guys. And it just feels right for Goldie. Listen to me and agree. Not listen to me, sorry. Listen to the song. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to the song and agree. Because I'm right. <laughs> Which is the same as saying listen to me. Um. I'm trying to get her look right. I don't know if that's the right look. What kind of look would she have? Talking to Sheba. It's such a good song. VOD Watchers, it's a Jack Rabbit by a San Furman. Go join in. Ugh, I thought I heard a sound, sorry. <laughs> Am I okay? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm just being a little weird today, it happens. Just get old. It's so good. It scratches my brain, guys. It scratches my brain. What do you mean, Kenna? <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are you like this, Kenna? You confuse and concern me. Did you know that? Did you know that? Where I was trying to book a haircut appointment, 
I need to put my credit card info and I left my wallet downstairs. I don't want to get up. Oh, I know that pain. The pain. Alas. Alas. The things that we must do in life, like go get our wallets when they're in a different room. Kenna, why are you saying P? I'm so confused. P is in the person? Or the liquid? <laughs> Which one? That's such a... Kenna! If you weren't a mod, I'd ban you. Kenna, ban yourself. I don't... I'm not talking about it, Spectral. Kenna is. I don't know why Kenna's talking about it. Kenna's on... I thought I was on something. But I think Kenna is on something more than me. And that is saying something. I'm gonna be so real right now. Alright. Here we go. Okay, we're getting there. The sketch is coming together, everybody. Slash ban McKenna underscore bowling bar. Thank you. Did I say bar? I just... Do I need caffeine? What do I need, chat? What do I need to do to be better? To speak my words like a proper person? Jeez, it's not my day. I'm just losing it. Kemma? Kemma, water? I have water. Okay, we're drinking water and we'll see if that makes me a better person. The knife disappears after a few minutes automatically. If you miss the knife, you'll have to get it back. All right. That is the song. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love it very, very much. It's it's in Goldie's playlist, and it's also just in my heart. Good song. Solid. 10 out of 10. Have listened to it many times today already. I don't even want- I don't think I even want to talk about how much I've listened to it today. I don't know what pose I'm going for over here, um, but we're going for it. Guys, oh, freaking, I don't want to draw on a boundary. Guys, I love Spellbound. Do you guys love Spellbound? Did you miss Spellbound? I miss Spellbound. I'm so glad Spellbound is back. This is so exciting. I have no idea how traumatized we're gonna be. I'll never forget the day, months ago, when Sky just smiled at me and then refused to say anything else. Um, it lives in my mind. Constantly. Why did I get spy smiled at? Why, why did I get smiled at? <laughs> Mother, I crave violence. Go get your wallet. <laughs> go get your wallet. Stop craving violence and go do your gosh darn uh, freaking payment for a haircut. I freaking love Spellbound. Me too. What a coincidence. I've waited a whole year to debut Percy and Celeste. You really have. You're so patient. You're so patient. You did good. You did really good hiding your secret. I- I was so struggling. I was so struggling hiding my secrets. Let me actually... Uh, put this in a folder before I get lost. Haha! Haha! Her little... It's, it's not a scarf, it's just a thing. I don't have a word for what this is. I- it doesn't need a name. It, item- part of her cl clothes... I also wish to dye my hair, but it's expensive. Yeah, hair stuff is pricey. Cloak? You're so right. Her cloak. I love that you said loke at first. Just forgot the C. It happens. It happens. I love her outfit. I, I spent, y'all, I did not know what outfit to give Season 2 Goldie for the longest time. For the longest time, I was like, Oh gosh, what, what will she wear? But what will she wear? And then it hit me. Steampunk. Oh, steampunk. Sorry. I really, I don't know why I keep having this file opened. I One, I need to finish this drawing. Very much so. But two, 
it's every time that I don't mean to click on the file that is this drawing, I click on it. And then I just have to be like, oh, sorry guys. That happens. That happens sometimes. That's awesome. Thank you. It's, uh, it's SV Olive. You know, her royal deadness. She's dead. Hey, Raiders, she's dead. She's so dead. She asked her friend to stab her because she was dying. Hey, Raiders, did you know she's dead? <laughs> but, but, Raiders, she's not dead. Sorry, sorry, Raiders. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, Colored Moon, for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Drop dead gorgeous. And also dropped dead in the ocean. Dissolved into sea foam. Dead. And reincarnated so her soul isn't even, like, she's gone. Like, she's not even a ghost. She's so, this is, she's so far gone that she's not even, like, in existence anymore. The last remnant of her being exists in the mind of a child. This child. Goodbye! Forever! Hi Raiders, my name is Olive and Escort Jests. I have a lot of problems, and also if you hear me misspeak today, it's because I don't know what's wrong with me. I've said so many incorrect words. I tried to say foot and I said book earlier. I said stepped book instead of stepped foot. Then I thought about my life decisions. And then I moved on because there's no going back from my life decisions. Thank you for the head pats. What an entrance. What an entrance indeed. Colored Moon, I hope you had a super fun stream. What were you guys up to? What were you up to? We're doing art. <laughs> Freaking, in case you somehow couldn't tell. Shocking, I know, I know. This looks like Minecraft crazy. Words are hard, man. They're freaking hard. They're so hard. In fact, words are so hard that I quit. I quit words. But if I actually quit, then I don't know what I would do during all stream not speaking, so never mind. I take it back. I don't quit. Playing Beyond Two Souls, and we need a palate cleanser after trauma and chaos and sadness. Welcome to your palate cleanser. We're just drawing. Um, so Sunday was episode one of season two of the Spellbound Sphere SMP. It went on a hiatus for like three months, but it's back, baby, back ribs. Delicious, delightful. That, that, uh, who needs dinner when you can have Spellbound lore? <laughs> I quit quitting. Yeah, I quit quitting. Yeah, explanation, explication, exclamation. Told you guys I was having issues today. Explication. <laughs> Spellbound. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Okay, I'm just gonna keep drawing and pretend that I'm a normal person and I haven't had any really stupid screw ups today. Got it, guys? Sounds good? Yeah? Yeah? Perfect. I see the mind is chaotic. Very, very chaotic. Actually, I wanna, I wanna pull up an old thumbnail real quick because I was looking at this. So, it's been months since I lasted a Spellbound thumbnail due to there being a hiatus and thus no Spellbound. But I was looking through my old thumbnails from my old Spellbound VODs and I just had to compare the first, the first Goldie's um, thumbnail versus the most recent. And I thought, it was a pretty, it was pretty cool to see the difference, and now you guys are gonna see it too, because I have the power here. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. This was the first ever Spellbound VOD thumbnail with Goldie. And this is the most recent. Look at that. How does this? Where'd it go? Turn into this! Look at that. This is what trauma does. Also, just art style growth in general. I, it's great. Spellbound did so much to my art style. It really, cause, so Spellbound got me obsessed. I was brain rotting. I was thinking about it. I was drawing Spellbound so, so much. And my art just grew exponentially. Because this was about a year ago. So this was my art a year ago. And this is my art now. <laughs> Yippee! This is why you should draw every day. <laughs> I don't draw every day. I do draw every day. 
I do draw every day, don't I? Never mind, I lied. I do draw every day. I thought I was being exaggerative, and then I thought about it, and I do draw at least a little bit every day. But. I freaking love Spellbound, y'all. Back to sketching. Arms still elude me, though. Alright? I'm gonna- I'm gonna be so real. Arms still greatly elude me. I- they just- they, they're very good at confusing me. I will figure them out. I- I'm- I know that I will. I feel it deep in the recesses of my mind that I am, like, gonna get there. I just need to get there. It's like running a marathon, you know? Like, you start at the beginning, and then, like, as long as you don't get lost and turn around, you end at the end. If you've ever run a marathon and you ended at the beginning, what happened? Or, actually, I've never run a marathon. Maybe they do go back to the beginning to end. I, you know, now that I've said this whole spiel, maybe I should have used something that I actually had knowledge on as my example instead of just talking about marathons when I ain't never run one. You know what? I'm dumb. I ran cross country and you ended at the end, but the end was the beginning, but backwards, kind of. Oh. Well, no, it depended. Wait, no. No, wait. It depended. Sometimes, sometimes where you started was where you also ended. But sometimes where you ended was just right next to where you started, but not quite where you started. Don't you end at the beginning, though? Relics, I've realized my mistake. The 400 meter dash doesn't count. Yeah, that's track, though. I never ran track. I wanted to run track, but by the time that I actually got, like, enrolled in being on the track team, my legs broke themselves, and I had to quit. So I actually never got to run a track meet, because my legs died. <laughs> that was a very sad day. I was like, yay, I get to finally run track. It's all I've ever wanted. Because, yes, I ran cross country, but I actually prefer sprinting over long distance. But I still ran cross country, because that's what was available to me at the time. Available. I feel like I slurred that word, so I repeated it just to be, I don't know, secure in myself. And then when I was able to do some track, it was too late. It was too late, and then I had to quit. And then I had to quit. It was sad. It was sad. It does suck, Relics. You're so right. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you find things you really enjoy and then you lose the ability to do them. I was actually having this conversation with someone recently. I don't think it was on stream. I think it was someone else IRL. But I was having a conversation about how um, there's, there's been, I'm gonna be so real with you guys. There's been like a trend in my life, okay? Where I will find something I enjoy and then like, Lose the freaking ability to really do it as much. So, for example, when I was when I was younger, I wanted to like do something food related, bake. Uh, well, which originally I was like, oh, I'll bake, but then I changed it into, oh, actually, like I'll go to freaking college for like nutrition and whatnot. And then COVID took my sense of smell, and now I don't eat super well because I have barely any appetite due to not being able to smell food. Oh, there's a spider! Oh, hey! You came from the ceiling! Oh, I'm gonna name you Larry. Larry, please don't land on my face. Guys, there's a spider that just came down the ceiling and is dangling in front of me. I named him Larry. You know, I wish I could say this is the first spider that's done this to me lately, but this is actually the third spider that's done this. Hey, buddy, go back up. Go back up. Go back up or I have to kill you. Go back up or I, I don't want to kill you. Go back up. Climb back up, Larry. Larry! Go back up. I have to kill you if you land on my desk. Go. Go, climb back up. Guys, I might have to kill Larry. If he doesn't climb back up to the ceiling, I will have to kill him because he's trying to land on my face. Okay, Larry, go back up. All right, guys. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit him with something. Let's see, what do we have? I have a stuffed animal. Oh no, oh, he's smart. He placed himself in front of my microphone. Um, let's see, I've got, I don't know what this is actually. Okay, sorry, Larry. Um, how do I hit him in a way where he won't? Okay, sorry, Larry. I have no idea where he went. I, I hit him in midair with a, a an object that's 
like blunt force. But I don't know where his body went, so he's somewhere. Anyways, what was I saying before the spider decided to crawl down in front of my face? Hi, Krypton, welcome on in. You know, I'm gonna be so with you guys, real. Um, I do have a fear of spiders, but it doesn't always work. It's like my body knows that it wants to be afraid, but then I'll look at them and be like, nah. Nah. And then randomly I'll go back to being petrified of them and scream my head off and it confuses people. So they're like, are you or are you not afraid of spiders? And I'm like, I really don't know. I really don't know. Anyways, as I was saying, COVID took away my sense of smell. So basically anything food related, I couldn't keep pursuing. So I switched my college degree. And then I ran um, cross country and I love cross country. And I wanted to run track. Um, but then my legs got messed up and the doctors didn't know what was wrong with me. So then I had to quit cross country and track. And I feel like there's a third that I'm forgetting. <laughs> but it's just like a little trend in my life. And I was talking to someone and I went, so as long as I don't go blind, we're good. Because, like, you know, now it's art. But if my life keeps up the trend of me, like, just getting screwed over, I might go blind. <laughs> Let's hope not. I thought about if I went blind. I still want to stream somehow. <laughs> just, just chatting streams. An artist greatest fear blindness. Ooh, you cannot see. Anyways, anyways, that was what I was trying to say before a spider crawled down in front of my face. He was a small spider. Guys, the spider that I thought died in my bathroom is back. He's alive. Richard is alive. I think that was his name. I need to stop naming spiders. Because I don't remember their names. All I remember is that I named them. And then I remember a possible name that I named them. I don't even know. But he's alive. I like seeing me too. But I also like smelling things and running. <laughs> and that didn't stop that. I already need glasses. I don't want to make it worse. Fun fact, when I got my glasses, I had to go back to the eye doctor and be like, give me glasses because he wouldn't at first. So I went to the eye doctor and he was like, well, it looks like you're getting a little bit nearsighted, but I don't want to do anything about that. Just like in case maybe you'll be fine. And I was like, can I have glasses, please? So I like went away for a month and then I went back and I was, I was just, I went in, I went, hey, you saw me recently, give me glasses. He checked my eyes out and went, oh yeah, it's gotten worse. Oh yeah, it's gotten a lot worse. Okay, I'll give you those glasses now. Why didn't you do it from the beginning? <laughs> Why? Why did you wait? Huh? Freaking, huh? Why? He really went, just in case. Just in case, I kind of don't want to do anything for this. I kind of just want to see what'll happen. What do you mean, what'll happen? I'm gonna go nearsighted. You already said that's what I was doing. If I'm trending in this direction, why do you think I'm gonna suddenly stop trending in this direction? Ha! Huh? People confuse me. Do people ever confuse you? Probably. There's a reason why we're all here on Twitch. <laughs> Calling us all out right now. Although, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know what I was even about to say. I opened my mouth and then I was just, I realized I had nothing in my brain to actually speak. I feel like I do that a lot when I stream. I open my mouth to say something and I realize there's just nothing in there. Nothing at all. It's weird. The streamer life. You say things, and you don't know why. Or gosh darn, you said them. Yeah. Yippee. Mesh transform. Two. Perfect. I feel like I'm just naturally gifted with the ability to speak a lot. You know? Just a lot. You don't have to speak to me either. I can just keep going. That's the crazy thing. Other people, they're like, they're, they're freaking, they're, first of all, they're people, <laughs> crazy, but they need a little, sometimes they just want to have a conversation that goes back and forth. That's totally normal. That's a normal human thing. I want to talk. 
and I want someone to talk back to me. However, growing up, I've just always figured it out by my freaking self. Bro, when I was little, one of my favorite toys wasn't a toy. I, I really enjoyed playing with the little things that take uh, staples out of paper. I'll pull up an image for you guys. Staple removers. But a specific looking kind. Oh yeah, I found it. I found it. This was one of my favorite things to play with as a child. I would get two... And I would make them battle. And we had one of them where I'd managed to break the tooth. So instead of going straight, it bent in like this. So it was crappy and no one ever used it. He was my king. He was my ruler of the lands. And then he was overthrown and mercilessly murdered by his brother. I had so much fun with these guys. Best toy ever! <laughs> Who needs actual toys when you just have a staple remover? I'm being so real right now. Man. What about not being able to differentiate colors? What is that rank? Bro, on the topic of being colorblind, in my Photoshop class, I took, um, like, freaking, I don't know when I took it, a while back. One of my, one of my classmates asked the professor, what do you do if you're colorblind? And he said, there's nothing you can do, you're not gonna do very well. I was like, dang, that's horrible. And I said that to one of my co-workers recently, and my co-worker was like, I'm colorblind, and I've gotten along pretty well in this job for the past few years, so your professor is a very unkind word. Tee -hee. But dang, man, imagine being, imagine asking your professor, Hey, what, what do I do? You know, if I'm colorblind, is there anything that can help? And the professor just says, you're not gonna make it very far. You're gonna struggle. It's not gonna go well for you. Dang! That does not instill confidence, does it? It's a LaCroix check. Okie dokie. Thank you, thank you. Do you think there's any more spiders living on my wall other than Larry? Oh, and also a hydration check. I'll get that one as well. Thank you, thank you. Right. Professor really said skill issue. He si Okay. He seriously did though. He really just went, not my problem. You know whose problem it is? Yours. It's your problem. This was the same professor who tried to give me an F for changing like my file size when I couldn't turn it into the website because the file size was too large. Oh no! Can you guys believe it? I changed the file size when the internet told me the file size was too big. That I couldn't turn my homework in. F! How could I? I'm such a horrible person. Guys, I'm such a horrible person. I changed the file size when I got told to change the file size. I know, it's awful. Teacher must have sucked. I'm gonna be so real with you guys. I'm not looking forward to my college classes starting back up soon. Simply because, um, basically all the professors I've had for graphic design have not been the friendliest. And I have all of them again. <laughs> Send me moral support. Gosh freaking darn it. I had one professor literally tell a student that another student, by name, name dropped another student was going to do better than her. Don't say that! You're right, Milo. You're right. Get mad. Get mad, bro. Get mad. Get angry. Go crazy. Go stupid. Oh, he's going really crazy. He's going real crazy. Oh, uh, I think the cat's here. I gotta move him out of the room he's in, because he'll never stop barking at that window. The, the cat likes to sit in front of the window to spite him. I fell down a little. <laughs> I don't know if that was audible. <laughs> I don't know if that was audible at all, but I slipped coming back into the bedroom. <laughs> okay, we're back, guys. It's fine. <laughs> it was 
this audible? Can someone clip that for me? See how audible it was? Please clip it, please. Clip it, send it in the Discord. I want to know what that sounded like. Usually I mute my microphone before I get up and away from the computer, but I was gonna leave for like literally five seconds, so I thought, it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? And then I just about bashed my head into my doorknob. <laughs> the answer was a lot can happen. A lot can happen in five seconds. All right. We're back to drawing. Everything's fine. No one's dead. All is well. But yeah, so my professors are gonna be very, very fun to hang out with again. <sighs> I'm sure I'll live, but at what cost? My sanity, most likely. Drawing the cloak thingy, my bobber. It's a cloak thing, so I call it a cloak thing, because I'm incredible. What can I say? What can I say? I'm gonna do a red. <clears throat> it's clipped! Send it in the Discord. I really want to look at it. I just want to look at it. I just want to know how audible that was. I say and then can't even find my own Discord. Look at me go. Look at me go. I named it. I made it. Can't find it. We shall do... Goggles first. Fun fact, mid-season Goldie always had, like, she had goggles. I just never drew her with her goggles on because I hadn't figured goggles out yet. And so, despite mid-season Goldie having goggles, I never drew them. Because I did not understand them. Uh, yes, I do have a clips channel. Unless I'm lying to myself, but I don't think I am. Pretty positive I have a clips channel. Goggles, I'll be honest, they still kind of elude me. Um, but I've gotten a lot better at not being as confused by them. It's not perfect. But at least I can actually draw them decently. And I don't just ignore their existence. <laughs> I really, I really just hardcore ignored their existence in the mid-season. I just went, I don't want to draw those. So Goldie never had them on. I don't know if I really like it. There's something about this one that's bothering me. Is it not tilted enough? It might be that. Okay, so the top is there. The top is there. Come on. And then the bottom part is here and then here okay it's a little wonky but it's fine you found the clips channel ah i see hold on i'm pulling this up i think this will be audible in my yeah my browser sound is on Kind of audible <laughs> you're right that that sound you hear after i say oh shoot is me catching myself from hitting the doorknob on my door that's my hand colliding with the doorknob in order so it's not my face colliding with the doorknob we got very very close <laughs> almost knocked myself unconscious been really awkward. The one time I don't unmute my mic and I get knocked unconscious. That sounds about right for my luck. Let's be let's be so real, chat. That sounds about right for me. Unfortunate but true. There we go. That's pretty good for the goggles. And now her very messy hair. So Goldie does not really comb her hair very well. And whenever her hair does finally get combed and, you know, a little less tangly, she then goes back outside and just goes crazy, goes stupid, and it just immediately gets tangly again. Her hair is a rat's nest. She's in that stage of her life where she's just one of those kids that you see running around on the playground with just, like, the crazy hair. I know you know what I'm talking about. 
just long hair that's just crazy and you're like whoa that cannot be fun to comb at night I never had that my hair was pretty short growing up my hair didn't really get long until like more recently but I know other kids grew hair <laughs> like okay <laughs> I never really had good genes for growing hair. No one in my family does. So most of us have shorter hair unless we try really hard and keep it really well maintained to help it grow. So growing up, my hair was always shorter, which is not that long because it just didn't really grow on its own. But then other kids are born with hair that just, they're born with a full head of hair. And I'm like, well, how'd you manage that? Oh, cryptid used to be the what? Ah, cryptid knows then. So you have to shave that off to fix it. Maybe I'm thinking about dog hair, never mind. No, you do have to, like, it's not matted hair. If it was matted, yeah, you have to shave that sometimes to fix it. Her hair is just really tangly. It does get combed. It's just that she doesn't keep it well kept after it gets combed. So then it ends up tangly again. But it's not matted. Thankfully. She... She at least keeps it well enough from being matted. That's the little things, you know? The little things in life. I'm trying to get this gosh darn strand of hair that's throwing me off right here. Here we go. Was almost down to my butt as a kid. I've had it super short for the last four years. See, my hair physically could not do that. My hair refuses. I don't know why my genetics are the way they are. But my genetics said that my hair is short, brittle, thin. I want to dye my hair, but my hairstylist is like, girl, you go bald. Your hair is just not, it's not gonna handle that well. It's very sad. I would love to put some color in my hair, but I don't want to go bald for it, you know? The, the, it's not, the commitment isn't there, you know? Not that much commitment. You go bald. I can't. No, I don't want to be bald. I just, I don't want to be bald, chat. So I, I can't have colorful hair. It's really sad. It's actually very, very unfortunate. I'm trying to get the gills right. Trying. Emphasis on trying. Come on. Come on, gills. This? This fine? Sure, let's go with that. Let's draw the other eye and see if I can do it on the first try. Time to find out. I, d I don't know. I don't know what I just did. Definitely not. Not horrible, but not quite. Well, I was kind of close to getting it okay on the first try. It's just not quite there. Me with my purple hair. Lucky you! Lucky, lucky ducky you. I hope you enjoy the purple hair. I just want to put blue in my hair. Blue or green would both be fun. Probably blue, though. I relate. I can't have super short hair for that reason. <sighs> Every day I find a new, like, genetic thing that I just go, Parental unit, why did you curse me with this? Why? Like, freaking, I'm, I'm not that tall. My cousins, my younger cousins are, don't call me short for this, but my younger cousins are all taller than me. My younger ones. And my older ones. Anyways. Um, I have one really distant cousin that's, uh, shorter than me, though, so. Got that one. Uh, not great hair, unfortunately, just not freaking base level not that healthy just thin bleh um yeah the list goes on but i can't think of any more right now i'll live short confirmed no i'm not sure it's just that my cousins are freaking tall as heck like i'm not even lying you guys it's not that i'm short it's that all my cousins are abnormally tall um because I guess my family likes marrying freaking tall people and then producing tall children. 
Oh my gosh, why are they all so tall? It's crazy. Y'all, I'm not- I'm not even kidding. Why? Why? I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, gonna make this black. There we go. I'm gonna put her over in the corner. And I'm gonna go pull out some Sheba art real quick. Because Sheba's got a reference page that was sent recently. Spellbound! Spellbound character references. Where is Sheba? I know I saw Sheba recently. I literally saw. I saw the dog man. Where'd the dog man go? But where'd the dog man go? I'm searching, you guys. I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest. Can I just... Hmm. Where... Which channel? Which channel? My mom's texting me. Hold on. I gotta respond. responding because last time I forgot to respond during stream I didn't get a burger <laughs> it was really sad it was really sad bow, bow, bow. okay all right I'm back don't worry about me staring into your soul it's over you've survived everything's okay Everything's okay. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -na. It's freaking pina colada. I don't know why I started singing it, but... I know for a fact I saw a Shiba recently. I saw Shiba art. Where did the Shiba art go? Guys, how do you lose... How do you lose a giant dog person? How? Where? Donde esta? Please. Wait, is it in this section? Ha ha ha! I found it. Guys, I found it. Alright, we can draw, we can draw Sheba now. I'm just gonna paste it over here and shrink it. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Okay. Got it. The dog! I found it. That took a, a unnecessary length of time, but I did it. Alright, I'm gonna actually shrink the- What? What? Where did you come from? Whoa! 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 Are y'all seeing this? Okay. Are y'all seeing this? What? Sorry. That got me. Hold on. What? Okay. I accept it. It's still there! It's still there! Okay, I'll put Goldie in the corner. It's gone! Crazy. Crazy. I think Sheba's a cool character. Goldie thinks Sheba is terrif- Not terrifying, but just- I thought you accepted it. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Once upon a time there was a- Sorry, it's a freaking song. I don't know why I just decided to join in very poorly. Anyways, this is Sheba. Sheba managed to get on Goldie's keep an eye on list, which actually isn't hard to do because Goldie puts, like, everyone on that list if she doesn't know them. I think one of my favorite things was Goldie being, like, really suspicious. They are a wolf. They are dog. They are wolf, man, dog thing. A woo. Um, but Goldie trying, um, what was I actually saying? 
think it was with Percy specifically mostly. Goldie being suspicious of like Percy and all the new people. But then and also just <laughs> analyzing them like well you look pretty beat up so i don't think you could be a danger to anybody well you do look like you got burned so you're probably telling the truth about coming from a fire so i guess we can trust you well you whittle so you might be trustworthy after all it was the whittling it was the whittling that really got goldie's attention goldie was like maybe i can trust you you whittle Surely evil people don't whittle, right? Goldie's not looking the right way. Goldie, I gotta fix your eyes. Hold on. You know what? No pupil privileges. I'm not gonna draw your pupils until I know where the heck you're gonna be looking. There we go. I would trust someone who whittles. Goldie does! In case no one caught that, Goldie has a hobby that's not... So Goldie finally has a hobby that isn't violent or very, like, technologically based in which she mostly just throws herself into work and works until she freaking passes out or something. She whittles. She also dabbled in potion stuff a little bit um, because she did that with uh, Newt back in mid-season and she kept, she took some stuff with her. But she, you know, she never got quite as good at the potions as she did with the fight fighting Fee-fi-fo-fum. But she has it because... I don't know. She can do a little bit. At least she's got it with her. That's kind of nice. Plus, you know, herbs probably smell better. Especially now that she's in a very magical village again and she's freaking smelly. Get them herbs to clear the air a little bit. He's saying little. No, no, no. Whittle. Whittle. Thank you. Thank you, subtitles. Thank you for getting it right. I believed you could do it. I always believed in you. That's a lie, chat. I'm just lying to the subtitles. Okay. Trying to get this. Maybe a little less square. Rectangular. Bro, I'm making a spotlight slideshow for the officers in my choir. I am one of them. I am the publicity. It's taking forever, but it's so pretty. Is it like a picture slideshow? <laughs> That's what a slideshow is. Why did I ask that question? Is it like... <laughs> That's awesome! We're gonna pretend I didn't ask something stupid. Chat, we're gonna pretend that I didn't ask anything dumb, alright? Alright, chat, we're all gonna agree that I didn't say anything dumb just now. I only say smart things. Wolfman. Wolfman. I don't I don't know freaking Come on. I'm trying to get the eye right. Why am I struggling on the eye? Gosh darn. Wolfman, why are you being hard to draw? Why are you being difficult? It should not be this hard. Something like that. I'm not good at drawing dogs. And their longer freaking snouts. Gosh darn. Um. Okay. Dogs are not my specialty. For anyone who doesn't know. And for anyone who thinks that they're not that hard, they they kind of are. <laughs> They're hard for me. They've got, like, a longer muzzle. That's the issue. So then you've got to figure out where their face is. I don't know where their face is. That's the issue. What's this, a LaCroix check? I'll take it! Thank you, James, for the LaCroix check. Doing it right now. Good old LaCroix. Good old LaCroix. Um, something like, gosh darn. Oh no, Goldie, the Red Riding Hood, and we have the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Goldie is not Little Red Riding Hood. First of all, Goldie can fight for herself. If Goldie, if Goldie decided it was necessary, she could probably fight the Wolf Man. 
I don't know if the Wolfman's a fighter. Apparently the Wolfman's got a sword. So who knows? She has a cloak? No! That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything, guys. She's wearing the cloak because it's nice and it's fashionable. Alright? This don't this doesn't mean anything. You're coming to conclusions, chat. Incorrect conclusions. I'm struggling right now. She makes baked she makes baked goods for people. Uh, she hasn't done that very much as of late, actually. In fact, she didn't even have a bread machine in her burrow at the summer home. So, eh. I mean, she did that in her past. Goldie and Elle are just fashion pioneers. I think Goldie and Elle are probably the most fashionable members of um, Spellbound. Goldie, because she's just changed her outfit so many times. She's just straight up like, I refuse to wear the same thing. I will be fashionable and stylish. Hey. Man, what the flip? <laughs> you got something to say? You got something to say? Correct me. Go ahead. What do you think? What do you think? Addie has great fashion. Yeah, but has Addie ever changed outfits? Hmm? I don't know about Celeste yet. I think you should make Celeste have the most horrible sense of fashion. Celeste is the person who just doesn't know what colors go together and, and just wears like a horrible combo and everyone has to be like, it looks nice, but you know, it could be better. <laughs> Neon green and blue. Oh gosh. Oh no. I went from overalls to the dress. Okay. One outfit change. I'll give you that. But still doesn't have Goldie beat. Goldie still wins. Tee hee. Goldie's had like three outfit changes. I am struggling. Stretch it? Squish it? Tilt it? Maybe? I gotta change the nose. But she's so pretty and embroiders clothes for people. Okay. I will give Addie a pass. Addie has fashion too. But I still think Goldie is kind of up there. Like, Goldie, come on, y'all. She's styling. She's styling. You've got to admit, she's kind of styling. She's kind of styling. You got to admit it. Yeah, SB Bear does slay as well. I'm still biased, though. I have bias. You guys are gonna be so shocked about this, but I have bias. Can you guys guess who I have bias for? You'll never guess. Come on, it looks like she's wearing a combat vest. With style! She's got overalls. And she's got these cool shoes. And she's got the cloak. Look at her. She's cool. She's cool. You have to admit it. Look how pretty these goggles are. Look at look at how like uh, lights, camera, action. I don't know why that was my phrase. Goldie's styling. She's styling. Yeah, she is. Thank you for noticing. The colors are working. Guys, I'm so proud of that outfit I made for Goldie. I, it, it turned out, it just popped off. It was the right outfit to make for Goldie. Have I drawn a possible outfit for grown-up Goldie past season two? Yeah. <laughs> I've drawn multiple possible grown-up Goldie variations. I don't know if I should show them. Freaking, I don't even know if Goldie will make it to adulthood. Because one time I was like, oh, Goldie will be fine in season two. Like, what's the worst that could happen? And Flam laughed at me and made fun of me ever since. So who knows? Goldie might die. Flam made fun of the fact that I thought the child was safe. So I will never, I will never make that mistake again. I made the mistake once. Never. Never again. 
wolves? Dogs? Do I need to do like an art study on these kinds of animals? Do I need to study how to draw these animals? Gosh darn. Because why, why are they difficult for me? It's mostly just the face. Okay, there we go. Now we gotta get the hair. Gosh darn. I wanna get the hair right. It's like on this side. Something like this. Something like that. That looks about right. Kind of. Goldie's new clothes reminds me of the ginger woman from Brave. The main character? The ginger woman from Brave? The main gal? The princess? What was it? Merida? What do you mean? The ginger woman? You forgot her name and you called her the ginger woman? You called her the ginger woman? Oh my gosh. The princess? What do you mean? <laughs> the whole chat's just like, huh? <laughs> but what do you mean? But what do you mean? Yeah, I'm gonna change the facial expression a bit. You know who I was on about. Well, we, we know. But we're just shocked that you didn't remember the name. The main character of the movie. The, the, the freaking gal I got compared with for 90% of my life before I chopped my hair off. Dang. Hair cover. Hair color reveal. Hair cover? Gosh darn it. Y'all, I'm gonna have to wake up a little bit early tomorrow to go get myself some caffeine before work. I don't have any at the house right now and clearly I am in dire need of something just just something I don't even know what but something huh <sighs> on a random note because I'm drawing an animal um <laughs> how did we get to this topic um my co-worker the other day we, we were just talking about I don't actually know how this happened how did this happen we were talking about just furries? <laughs> and she was like, I don't know if, if it pays. And I was like, well, I guess, yeah. And she goes, I didn't mean that, by the way. I didn't mean if it pays, I'll do, I'll do whatever. I just, I meant, and I was just like, okay. She like proceeded for five minutes to be like, I'm fine if people are furries. I just don't want to draw an animal. I don't really get the character design in it. And I went, <gasps> But the character design. This is the coolest character design you can get. What do you mean you want to draw a plain human being? That's boring. That's boring. I don't want to draw a plain human being. That's boring. I want to draw a cool freaking axolotl that stands on two legs or whatnot. It's cool! Anyways, I don't actually know how I want to draw standing humans are boring give me axolotl give me axolotl that doesn't even look like an axolotl like it's not that she doesn't look like an axolotl it's that it's the tusks the tusks throw it off a little bit i've definitely gotten better at drawing axolotls looking more like an axolotl see this she looked less axolotl due to how i drew her than compared like this is a little bit more you know not as mammally not as many mammal vibes, but them tusks, though. It would freaking hurt if she bit you, I'm pretty sure. I'm- I- yeah, it would hurt. You- yeah. <laughs> and now that I think about it, I'm sure she's bit L before, and I bet that freaking hurt so bad, man. I can only imagine. Huh. I would not want that for me. Uh, I think your neck is a little bit too- there we go. That's better. That's better. She looks like a mix of human axolotl and some kind of dog. Huh. Dog? I was kind of thinking like pig or like a little even inspired by piglin just because of the tusks that I gave her. I just see the human though. The human makes sense. Her soul came from a human, you know? 
Goldie would have bit L if it wasn't for the fact of L always being dirty changed my mind. You're right. Goldie, so I don't, I think Goldie's the kind of person who doesn't want to get her hands dirty if she doesn't have to. Hence why she got Ollie to be the one to fill L's room with dirt so she didn't have to go dig for it. She, she's, uh, she's, this is fine. A little manipulation. It's not like she did it cruelly. She, she appreciated it. But she still got someone else to do her dirty work. Uh, the ads. Something fluffy with a snout. Mm, yeah. My dog just barked at me because he wanted to cuddle with me and I'm busy so he's sitting in my lap. Oh, doggy. Cannot relate with Milo. Milo is just like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You disturb me. I'm like, but I raise you. I love you. Why? Okay. I'm trying to work out. I don't know why characters standing like normal is what I'm unable to draw. The, the moment a character is just standing like a normal person, I lose the ability to draw them. Does this even make sense? No, I feel like it doesn't. I feel like standing should be what is easy, but it's not. I don't know how to draw them standing. Why? Maybe I should not do standing? The cycle continues? What's the cycle? Wait, so if Goldie did die and had another animal eat her soul, would they be eating Goldie's soul or Goldie and Olive's soul? It's Goldie's soul now. It's Olive's gone. Olive's, you know, Goldie now. But Goldie's not Olive. Goldie's a new person. Just like an older soul. You know how people are like, oh, you have an old soul? Just because you have an old soul, does that mean that you don't have your own? It's not yours, it's old, thus it's not yours. Nah, that's not how it works. How do I do this? How do I want to do this? Walking? Away? Perhaps? Perhaps? Maybe? Gosh darn it. Alright, hold on. Um. Walking away. Shoulder here? Ah, uh, the Steven Universe conundrum. Uh, <laughs> Goldie is so Steven Universe core. But yeah, Goldie wouldn't bite L because L's such a. L is pretty dirty. L's definitely covered in dirt most of the time. I'm not surprised by that. Hey, it's the song I played at the beginning of uh, the Spellbound stream. I wrote you a letter. I wrote this for a very- I wrote this? I played this for a very specific reason. That's all. It doesn't really matter, actually. I could tell you or I couldn't tell you. It's not anything that important. But I'm not gonna tell you just because I like it when I make people curious. Teehee! Olive, just tell me if I'm wrong. But as axolotls have many different colors, could it be possible that they could have bit- have a bit of chameleon in them? axolotls in general or goldie or like real axolotls or minecraft axolotls wait I, I need to narrow down the question field i've gotten confused and i think 80 percent of the confusion is my own fault sbl is 90 percent dirt now disgusting ella is a chinchilla they prefer dust baths yeah i can see that i can see that actually where did- when you're walking away, where does your shoulder go? Is your shoulder here? Is this where your shoulder is? WHERE IS YOUR SHOULDER?! Okay, okay, this is like the side of your body. And then this is some more of your body. And then this is your shoulder, and then this is like your chest area, and then like this is... Somewhere. Some part of you. You're leaning a little bit too much now, I just- I don't actually know anatomy. I'm such a fake it till you make it person. Locks in, wait, locks L, locks in L, locks L in a room just that, huh? 
looks in L room. Oh. <laughs> I just need a moment. I just need a moment, guys. Just give me, just give me a moment. Just, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I just, I just need a moment. I just need to clear my head. I need to think about this. <laughs> Why was that impossible to read? Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Looks in Elle's room. Just a bathtub of crushed up dirt. I did it! The bare minimum, chat. I read English. The language that I speak. The only language that I speak. I read it. It's about dang time. You fumbled the brain cell so hard. I did. It was horrible. Whoever is, like, currently using my brain cell, can I please have it back? Like, I did not give permission for its use right now. I actually kind of needed that. Please give it back. For Goldie, because it would be funny. I don't think Goldie has any chameleon. She got mostly, um, traits that are meant for more defensiveness and, uh, aggression rather than hiding away. H hence why she got the tusks to like so the reason that she kind of evolved this way was because um she was having her life threatened and her body was like or freaking i don't know whatever part can metamorphosize you i don't i don't know these words it was basically like oh we're in danger so we need to adapt to what can handle the danger better and she adapted in a way where she could fight back rather than hide away so she got, you know, she's, she's a strengthy little gal. She's got them tusks and she's got them strength. She's strengthy. No, oh, hello. Uh, that's an axolotl thing. The like kind of, it's not, I don't I wouldn't say evolution. I said evolution just then, but I don't think that's the right word to say it. More just adaptation, adapting to your environment. It's an axolotl thing. And so for her, she was like, oh no, they're out to kill me. What do I do? Fight. And that's, that's what we got. That's what we got out of that. Yippee! Trauma! I don't know where to, where's your, where's your tail? Might not show up at all. Yeah, I won't force it on the page. I won't force it. Grows spikes. Goldie the orc. No, guys, please. <laughs> no, please. Okay, yeah, this is definitely... Oh, gosh, send help. This is definitely better than my standing one that I had originally. But now I gotta do arms. Okay. This arm will be back. And then... I think this is the right way to do it. Bark, bark, bark. Owl! Hello! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! How you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day! Tail fight. No! No one is having a battle against each other in Spellbound with their tails. Freaking whip someone in the face. I, Owl. I am struggling. Owl, did you know that I can't draw dogs for the life of me? Owl, did you know that one of my greatest weaknesses is that I just cannot draw dogs? It's the face. It's the face. I don't know how to draw long muzzles. I don't, I don't, it, I, it eludes me. It's, it's actually quite shameful. I'm quite ashamed. I, I sure wish I was better. <laughs> I sure wish I was better, but alas. Rectangle. I mean, it's a rectangle, but it's still, it's, it's a rectangle that confuses me. It's a rectangle that brings me confusion. I think maybe this arm should not be off the page like that. Ah! I erased so much more than I intended. Hello? Okay, there we go. There we, there we go. I erased. Shoulder. Arm. Is the forearm the top or bottom part? Like, just, oh, 
you can't tell what part of my arm I'm hitting if I just hit my arm. You can't hear via sound waves what part of the arm I'm trying to point at. I really just went and expected you guys to know what part of the arm I was talking about. <laughs> Why did I think that would work? Hey guys, hey, I understand my sound waves right now. Hello, Score Bunny, welcome on in. I'll have a tiny question. If you could add something to any two games, what would you add? You know that game Nintendo Dogs? There was a time when there were rumors that a dog could get pregnant and have puppies, but those were just rumors. I'd make it possible. I'd make it canon. Cause that'd be freaking adorable to have little mini Nintendo dogs running around. <laughs> I was so ready for that question for some reason. For the second game, no idea. No clue. I only know Nintendo dogs. That's what I wished was possible in my childhood. And so I was very, very ready with that answer. But that was then all I had going for me. Um, I love that I can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. All right. Oh, I can just move this over. I'm silly. Y'all, I'm silly. Okay. The silliness has ended. I'm using my brain now. Uh, my layer is closed. Okay. Uh, no, nah, the silliness is still here. I'm definitely not using my brain. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sometimes you have to sing out your confusion, you know? You ever just get confused and then you just have to sing it out, you know? Yeah. Yes, no, maybe so. It might just be me. I might be alone in this. Sound waves. Sound waves. Gotta love them. Gotta love the sound waves. This is not gonna work well. Hold on. This is gonna confuse me. Cloak. Cloak? Cape? Cloak? What is this freaking called? A shirt that's not open? It's not a shirt. What is this called? Top. I don't think I know. I don't know anything. I'm confused. In chat, I'm confused. I'm disappointed in myself because I'm confused. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll live with it. I'll learn to live with myself. I... Uh, okay. Oh, they're pretty long sleeves. Okay. Um. Hmm. Shoulder to upper arm to forearm to hand. Shoulder, upper arm, forearm, hand. Okay, that makes sense. The Lacroix check. Almost missed it. I got it though. Thank you for the Lacroix check. Doing that right now. Good old Lacroix. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Now, if I used the extent of my brain cells, I'll be able to understand that the sleeves go on the arm. <laughs> and when they go on the arm, they'll also go around the shoulder. Uh, thanks for the glasses. And then they go around the shoulder and then they can go around the torso and it and when they go around the torso they can go back around the shoulder and then the uh oh, long sleeve long hold on like that like like that and then uh yeah and then, uh, you can, and then it'll go, like, around the arm. <laughs> so, no. so I'm losing my mind. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm fine. Chat, I'm fine. Really, chat, I'm fine. Is this a heart? No, that's a belt. Pretty worth asking, I guess. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm putting my whole brain cell into this. It's not even funny how many brain cells I'm putting into this because it is definitely not worth the amount of brain cells that I'm spending on it. It is just most definitely not worth this many brain cells 
and yet I have to use this mini anyways because I'm just a silly little guy. I'm just a silly, confused little guy. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm all good. Where's the rest of this? Where's the rest of this all done? Why are you plinking? What are you plinking at? What are you plinking at? Hold on, I think this is kind of not right. Hold on. So, I, oh, uh, Tatsune Miku. Shocking! Ab oh gosh, Hatsune Miku. All right, how many Hatsune Mikus? Three. Okay, three, we're going on three. Is that it? Is that the magic number? Is three the magic number for today? Hmm. This is a really muscular dog, you guys. I just gotta say it. I just gotta say it. This dog has got to work out. Like, bro, what are you- what- what are you doing at the gym? <laughs> what- what's the gosh darn gym procedure? That's not the right word. Workout. That's five Hatsunes. Olive, I found what the wolf jacket is called. What is it? What's it called? What is it called? Okay. Alright. I wonder if I should just try redoing the face. Owl, are you still here? You said rectangle, right? You said rectangle? I'm so scared right now. I don't know why. Oh. I'm gonna mispronounce that if I say it. I know that's Japanese, though. Interesting. Huh. Okay. I knew it had a name. I just did not know the name. I knew. Kimono clothing. <laughs> or that, yeah. There's the- there's also that way of referring to it. Okay, let's see. Um... I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, top of the head is here. No, hold on, wait. Top of the head is... Put it here. And then... A little bit of the cheek here, and then... Muzzle. Nose. I don't think this is working. Hold on. Uh, okay. We're attempting, guys. We're attempting. Um. Here's the. That's not the right kind of fluff. Hold on. It's a little bit more triangular than that. Um. Okay, that's better. Fluff. Ear. I think that ear might have been too big. Or just round. Ear. Other ear. And then this is... The hair. I don't know if this is any better, though. Hmm. Hmm. I like maybe here no not that not that kind of expression maybe no 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 why is this so difficult why is this so difficult nope not that one um no gosh <laughs> you guys are gonna be hearing a lot of the word no it seems I'm focusing so hard. I'm focusing so hard right now. I believe in myself. Flam, welcome back from dinner. I hope dinner was good. I'm just... <sighs> Flam, I can't draw dogs or like anything with long muzzles. Anything with like a long muzzle, I, I'm immediately... I, I don't know how to draw it. 
It's my it's my weakness, unfortunately. It gets me every gosh darn time. Oh gosh. How do people do this? Like so easily. How? How? It's not good. It's not working. You're drawing Sheba. No 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 no, this is Sheba. Um, Flam, L is exploding because L ate dirt. Just this is a lie, I made that up. But I wouldn't be surprised if L did eat dirt recently. L is always exploding a little bit, let's face it. Let's all face it, L is in a constant state of minor explosions. That's just the way that L lives. Okay, something like that. Spell on brain rot is so strong. It lives in my mind and it rots away. That is actually a lot better of a face. Don't know how to draw that straight on though. <laughs> oh no no, mesh transform. Mesh transform. Like this. And then and then this. I think. Is that better? Ah Yeah, I'm gonna call that better. Look in the wait, look in the two days since spellbound. I made an AU. It was I was half asleep, honestly, during the creation of this. L was just in a silly goofy mood. <laughs> and I was just there like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weapons? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, hey, Flem, w w Flem, when's Sunday? When is it Sunday again? Flem, when is it Sunday? Does anybody know when it'll be Sunday again? Asking for a friend. Definitely not because I'm desperate or something. That's crazy. What do you mean, when is Sunday? It's Sunday. It's Sunday! Oh, time for Spellbound, everybody! I'm so excited! Guys, another prime example of why I sketch things multiple times. Sketch one, sketch two. <laughs> sketch one, sketch two. I don't know what happens in between the two different sketches I make, but something changed. I don't know what. Anyway. I want to change Goldie's expression in this one as well. Where's her other eye? Okay. Here you go. Soul eater. So soul eater. Meister and weapons. Huh? What? When did we get to soul eater? What? But spellbound. Oh, dang. Wait. What would Goldie be? Meister or a weapon? Oh, Goldie would probably be a weapon, let's face it. Goldie would be her epic axe. You guys want to see Goldie's awesome axe? Hold on. Hold on. Goldie has the most epic axe designed by wonderful, wonderful Koba. Koba made the most amazing axe for Goldie. I think I still have it saved on here. This is Goldie's axe. Like, this is what her axe looks like. She's so cool. It's so cool. She is so cool. This is just canonically her axe, and she carries it around, and it's- she's an intimidating little fella. Goldie is amazing. She is my silly little guy, my intimidating little gal, and my socially awkward child. We love her, and all of her problems. And boy does she have problems, we love her anyways. Goldie be like a jack-in-the-box, you throw her in and she surprise attack. No, she wouldn't be a jack. That's too silly. That's too silly. She's not silly. She's serious. I mean, she can be silly, obviously, but... Overall, she can also be, uh... Aggressive. Fight, fight, fight. I'm trying to get her expression down here. Like, like this, maybe. I don't know if this is the right expression I want to do, but... Goldie is very... 
very iffy on Sheba. Sheba creeped her out one time and she is not forgotten. Need her to look the right way. This is the hardest part about drawing eyes is making them look the right way. Olive, I can't believe you took Goldie from being a brat to being grumpy. It's well, I mean, I feel like that was just the next step of her. She, she's just grumpy. Guys, I need more Percy and Goldie interactions. Please! Please! Goldie, Goldie freaking keeps staring so deeply into Percy's eyes. And she's not really hiding it very well either, which is the funny part. The first time she did it, she just straight up went, I'm looking at your eyes. And then the previous times, she's she looks and then looks away really quickly. But you know she was still looking. She was still looking. Goldie is a grumpy old man in the body of an eight-year-old Axel. <laughs> oh, y'all, when freaking Ublek told Goldie to smile more and fake it till you make it. And Goldie was like, but, but what's wrong with this is my face? Ublek was like, you look sulky all the time. And Goldie went, that's my face. And then Goldie felt bad. And Goldie tried to do things. She, like, put on a big grin and she's like, am I doing it? Poor Goldie. She is trying. She's, she's, she's trying. You know? Points for trying. That's what I say. No, it wasn't a good mouth. I don't I think this was a good mouth, but it just doesn't feel like it fits the facial expression I'm going for. Maybe, maybe, um, hmm. Something like this. Maybe. I gotta look at. Okay. Teeth are hard. I love her tusks and I love her little teeths, but that doesn't mean that they're easy to draw. It just means that I like them, even though they're not that easy to draw. I I will suffer the pain because I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I want I want some uh, Goldie and Percy bonding over whittling. <laughs> That's what I want. I think that would be adorable can't undo there we go because they both whittle you guys chat they both whittle and they make things via whittling i'm not okay did you know that i am not okay did you did you this is not working hold on it's one maybe Maybe? Like this? What? I can't see! There you go. Hmm. Here, let me just grab a red and mess around with the expression. Hmm. Maybe... Let's go for a little bit more of a, a nervous... I don't know, freaked out. That's what I'm trying to get. Ah, facial expressions. My beloved. I would love to see a friendship between Goldie and the white dog in mud. I can't remember the name. Ollie? The white dog in mud? I just lost my mouse. There we go. That's Ollie. Is Ollie white or is Ollie silver? I think Ollie's mostly silver. Hold on. I'm looking at Ollie's reference. Ollie isn't white. Ollie's more silver. With mud. Close enough, though. Pretty close. The reason I ask about what you would add to any two games is my first one would be Axolotl Villages and Animal Crossing. And two, add Tanukis to Minecraft. Oh, those are both good. That ax Oh, Axolotl Villages would be adorable. Oh, he's gray, bro. Wait, is silver the same as gray? Silver's the same as gray. <laughs> I had to think about it. Well, it's not the same, but like in silver, gray. There's differences, but close enough. Ollie's gray. Um, Sheba's uh, also gray. 
but with more white. But Ollie is mostly gray or silver if you're like me. No? Silver's not the same as gray? Am I dumb? Can't you use it interchangeably? Oh, she was more the definition of silver? Man, colors are hard. Colors are hard. I don't know. I don't know. They're colors. Did you know that they are colors? It's shocking and true. Wow. Who do I romance? I don't know who is even an option. Still never played Baldur's Gate. Wait. I'm thinking about the few characters I know. Check our DMs, nerd. Okay. I got called a nerd. Did you send me colors? <laughs> Flam sent me colors. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm being taught color freaking just colors. White, silver, gray, ash, gray, salt and pepper. Dove gray, blonde gray. Okay. She was more of a silver gray versus all being more of an ash gray. You're not wrong. You're right. And I'm yawning apparently. How dare I? How dare I yawn? Illegal! No yawning. No yawning for me. I'm trying to get this other gosh darn pupil drawn and it's making me lose my mind. I'm losing my mind, chat. What do I do to stay sane? What do I do? I don't know. What if this eyebrow stays down and this one's a little bit more up? Whoops. Not quite. Olive, you're being banned to yawn jail. I didn't mean to. I promise it was an accident. I'm sorry. Don't take me to yawn jail. I'm never gonna get out. I'm just gonna keep yawning. Oh gosh, I said the word yawn and I did again. <sighs> Olive, look at the tail colors because it's white, silver, gray, to dark. To what? The tail color of... Okay. Yeah. You're right. There's colors on that tail. I get it. I get it, guys. Gray isn't the same as silver. I understand. I am a fool, and I don't use my colors correctly. But are we really surprised? I think not. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, can I do this? Can I get this to succeed? Can I get this to succeed and me be good at art? Can can I be good at art? Can I do it? Chat. Can I be an artist? Can I do what I want to do and succeed? That is the question. I feel like I made the mouth too small. Chat! I didn't succeed, thus I'm not an artist. It's official. It's official, chat. Roll for art check. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my D20. Rolling it online. I 11! What does that give me? What is that? I got 11. What does it mean? How did I do? Did I succeed? Uh, put it there. Ah, okay, I moved a little bit more than I thought I wanted to, but should be fine, actually. I think I just need to change the face as a whole, maybe? Forehead. Cheek. Chin. Other cheek. A little bit less chin. Wow. I think her eyes are too big. Hold on. Me when art. Oh, shoot. Me when. Me when. Oh, gosh. Me. Okay. You completed the art, but you yawned a lot. I didn't mean to yawn. Okay, we need to, like, 
Stop saying the word yawn, because it's making me yawn more. I yawned once, and then I started talking about it, and I just doomed myself to more yawning by talking about yawning. Honestly, I did this to myself. Um, squish this eye a little bit. Like that. Does that look okay? I feel like just a little off looking somehow. Squish. Maybe bring that there. Or does this I need to go down a little bit? Or does this I need to go up? No, I think this I needs to go down. Grab the eye. Like that? that? Or does this eye need to go closer? I'm just being a perfectionist at this point. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. This is normal. This is my life. It, uh, this is how I live. Wow. I'm an artist. Whoa. Here, I'm just gonna. I'm there. I ain't cleaning this up, so I'm just gonna. I ain't doing line art. I'm just gonna make this a messy sketch. I've already done a lot. I've already done a lot. Drawing Sheba was hard enough. I'm not gonna do that a second time. Whoops. Forgot I had that. I'm gonna delete this. Okay. There we go. Can I just make this a little bit larger? There we go. And then the face on this sketch shall be said goodbye to. Goodbye. And where the where the where the eyes? No, I think they're gone. Okay. Olive the cow, welcome on in. You have indeed arrived. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Where are those eyes coming from? Where? Okay, that one. And that one. Okay, that was really traumatizing. Did not mean to do that. Alright, erase that. Um, where's the, where's the neck? Here we go. Gone. Gone like the wind. Tired, that's what I am. Oh, well then you've come to the right place because we're currently being possessed by yawning. I mean, at least I am. I've yawned so much for some unknown reason. I don't know why I'm yawning. I don't want to be yawning. But I am. And I'm stuck this way. So we're just we're just yawning endlessly over here. You made me yawn now? Good! Join me in my pain and suffering. Welcome. Welcome to what I've been dealing with. Olive, guess what? Did you yawn? What? What? Tell me. I'm not patient. Tell me now or suffer. <laughs> I don't know why I just decided to threaten you. Yawn. Joke's on you. I foresaw it, and thus it won't work. I foresaw that you would try and trick me, and thus I mentally prepared myself, and thus you failed, and I am the victor. Deal with your loss, you shameful, shameful person. I am simply better. Where is his arm? Okay, I did yawn again, but I didn't yawn because of you. <laughs> I yawned because of myself, not you. Goldie and Chiba. Let's do, um... Let's do little, uh, the little grumbly thing. Because Goldie's just like, hmm, hmm, I don't know about that one. I'll go make the, uh, goggle layer black instead of red. There we go. There we go. That's, uh, that's what we get. Sketch. I'm gonna just remove that one. Sketch. Little sketch. 
Well, did I get an olive? What do you mean did you get an olive? If you want an olive, go to your freaking pantry and grab one. If you don't own any olives, that sounds like a skill issue. It was too freaking hot today. It is summer. Hey, how long does summer last? Like, what, what's the month when it's not summer anymore? When does fall start? What's the fall month? Hold on. Um. When does summer end? In June? It's not summer? Wait. No. It is summer. When does... What comes after summer? Fall? When does fall start? September? What's happening? Wait. Is August the same as fall? <laughs> Confused. Summer starts around the end of June. Starts? I thought it's been summer. What month is it? It's July? June? July? I'm confused. Chat, I am confused. And I'm still freaking yawning. I promise you guys I'm not actually tired. <laughs> I promise I'm not actually tired. I'm just uncontrollably yawning. It's August next week. Isn't that kind of crazy, you guys? You know what else is next week? Another Spellbound episode. <laughs> Who's excited? I sure am. Here, I want to find... Uh, let's see. Goldie art. What do I have in here? What do I have in here? Humana, humana, humana. Because what should we doodle next? The yawn police will never find me. The yawn police will never find me. And if they do, they'll uh, never take me alive. That's for sure. I will escape. I will gain my freedom. And the world will bow before me. And it will be a wonderful day. Jeez. <laughs> Freaking. It's just the yawn takeover on stream. Do I need to, like, do jumping jacks or something? What the heck? Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, Goldie and L. The, the siblings. If I can get a square drawn, because apparently I can't. Okay, that'll be Goldie. That could be L. trying to draw some very base bases. It's totally not a quarter to midnight. Freaking, what do you mean a quarter to midnight? You think I know how to, you think I know how to read quarters till midnight? It doesn't that mean four hours? Because a quarter is four? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> quarter is not four. Wait, a quarter is not four. Wait. <laughs> okay, you're in a different time zone than me, first of all. Second of all, why, what was I thinking of when I said isn't a quarter four? Does anyone know what? A quarter is 25. Okay. I'm just, I'm just in shock and awe, chat at myself. I'm in shock and awe at myself. It's insane. Why am I yawning? What do I need to do? What do I do? I'm gonna Google how to stop yawning. How to stop yawning. Keep the bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. How would that stop you from yawning? Go to bed and wake up at the same time each day? Screw you. Avoid caffeine, large meals, and exercise before bedtime. It's not bedtime! Exercise regularly during the day. I have to sit to work. Avoid alcohol close to bed. Not my issue. Remove electronic devices from the room. Uh, not really possible. I stream? How to stop yawning immediately. Take a sip of ice water. If you feel the need to yawn, take a sip of ice water. 
snack on cool foods such as refrigerated watermelon or cucumber whenever you want to avoid yawning. Keep your environment cool because one reason we yawn when the brain's temperature is too warm. Do we? What do you mean we yawn when the brain's temperature is too warm? That sounds like dying to me. What? Huh? Oh my gosh. It worked. I wanted to yawn and then I sipped on my LaCroix and I feel okay again. Guess I just got to excessively sip on my cold beverages. Yippee! I'm filled with joy. Sarcasm. Sarcasm, sarcasm. All right, let's see if we can get a good little quick doodle of the siblings. Goldie and Elle's dynamic was really fun last stream. They're they're actually siblings now, your honor. I mean, Goldie is still like the uh, eye roll. That's my unfortunate relative, but still. Uh, yeah, um, Google, it's summer in Scotland. It's 21 degrees. There's no way I'll be able to keep my room cold. Aha, aha, aha. Well, you know, Google did its best to help. I guess we're all just stuck suffering. That's okay. This can be our suffer. How fun. Thanks. This can be our suffering room where we all suffer together. At least we're suffering together, am I right? Ha 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 ha. Right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? No, the brain is just a soup in a calcium bowl. Ugh. Don't call my skull a calcium bowl. That's terrifying. That's so, that's disturbing. Ooh. Now I'm thinking about it. And that's the worst part. Hi, Purple Fire Kitty. Welcome on in. How you doing? I'm just being traumatized. Soup good? Not when the soup is your brain and brain matter. You know what? I'm probably gonna fall asleep on stream. That's fine. I'll try not to scream. On the count of three, we scream in unison. I'm just kidding. I would never. I would never do that. I will say, I am just, like, genuinely a more loud person, so I always feel like my streams are not the best to fall asleep to. Because I just- I get loud. Oh, well, now I'm being abused. Oh, goody goody. Aggression! Has that made you feel better? Do you feel better now? You beat me up. No, the calcium bowl is not good. What are you talking about? Disgust disgusting. I'd be good. I'm working on art fight attack after getting back from orientation. My feet be sore. Ah, oh, that'll happen. The good old feet are now sore. Gotta love standing and walking and walking and standing. You know, all the good stuff. I want to just redo the eyes, actually. All right. Oh, that's not even the right layer. I'm a fool. There we go. That's the face. We'll redo the eyes. So what? The bone bowl is better? I mean, I prefer not having my skull be referred to as a bowl simply because it makes it feel like you're planning to eat my brain like it's soup. And that's kind of, you know, funny enough, I, I, I don't think that's what I want to have happen to my brain, you know? Oddly enough, how do you draw a character rolling their eyes? Why is this like oddly difficult? Come on. Come on, Art. Agree with me. Work with me here. Work with me here. Work with me! It's giving the monkey brain ice cream in Indiana Jones. <laughs> What? Monkey brain ice cream? That sounds terrifying. Ah. On today's episode of I'm being traumatized. I'm being traumatized. Olive, you should make a 
a a what? A a plan a stream planner? A uh, like a stream a uh, freaking an uh, uh that like a freaking paper that to put stuff on? Wow, I did great. Chat, I'm having such a good brain day. Can you guys tell? Can you guys tell that I'm having just the best brain day of my life? I've never been so successful in using my mind ever. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. Everything's definitely going so well, and I'm definitely not struggling to do and say the simplest of things. Nope. Not at all. Anyways, stream, like, announcement planner thing? Wait, you have a brain? Yes! I have a brain- oh, freaking- Why am I always being jump scared by the pretty lady, who I actually might do some more work on in a second? I might sketch these two, and if I have time, do a little work on that one. Here we go. I just want to do a quick sketch. So I'm going to try and not be a perfectionist. We're just going to- Alright guys, help me stick to what I just said. I'm not being a perfectionist. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm purposely doing a little quick sketch. It's okay if the eyes don't look the most amazing. Um, it's just- it's just dead SV Olive, but drawn really pretty. <laughs> and I keep- I keep forgetting- so Flam, I keep forgetting to close the file and Fire Alpaca will just automatically open it back up if I never closed it. Um, and so I keep just having it open when I'm not even working on it and I'll be doing other art stuff and accidentally click on it and just be jump scared by this. Like it'll be up close like this and I'll just be like, la 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 la, ah! <laughs> Dead woman! dead woman staring at me and it happens really often actually I'm not proud of how often it happens um okay eyebrows let's see oh gosh oh wow hey beyond thanks for the aggression the pokeballs gotta love it man I was a little bit zoned in too when you did that I was not ready I was, I was like, mmm, mmm, eyebrows, mmm, yes, art, mmm, yes, yes, and then I was murdered. And then I was murdered. That's how it tends to go. Well, hello there, madam. Huh? <laughs> madam, you startled me, whoa. Still think this is a really good drawing, though. I just need to actually, you know, finish it. But I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. Alright. My favorite thing about Goldie's Season 2 outfit is that I can just draw it and not have to worry about so many... Like, I just... It covers a lot, like, her shoulders and some of her arms. It just... It makes doing drawing her kind of quick and easy because I can just throw it on there. And then, boom, so many of my issues are solved. Because it hides everything. There we go. There we go. And then, some more of her hair. And this strand of hair. There we go. Look at that. We're going places. Aha! That was actually a little bit too much. We're gonna grab this and squish it! And then we'll be going places! For real, for real! Isn't it weird that Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, that an alien split its skull into 13 soul skulls? I... You're saying this is someone who's never watched Indiana Jones, so yes! That does sound weird. Olive XD? We looking for Olive XD? Okay, give me a second. Olive XD is the chosen vessel. So let me just... Oh. 
There we go. It wouldn't pop up at first and I was confused. I was confused, you guys. It 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 just wouldn't work. I'm gonna eat while listen to this. Bet, sounds good. Have good eeps. Uh dream successfully. What was my dream last night? I have a really vague recollection of my dream, but like not enough of it. I know there were like coyotes involved. I blame Wolf Quest for that one. <laughs> I remember a wolf quest at one point I was just chasing down a coyote and then I dreamt of a coyote last night, so I blame wolf quest for that one. Okay, so there's Goldie, and then can I even draw L off my memory? I'm gonna try, because I don't feel like looking for L's design right now. So we're gonna try and go off of memory for this one. Can I draw looking up? I'm not good at characters when they look up. I dream of horse. Go dream of horse. Go ride in the in the great beyond jump a really really big ravine like spirit once did how do i want to do this so like can i i want to draw l looking a bit more up but i don't know if i know how to do that it's not really my specialty gotta work on being able to draw that better. Ah! Okay. Hmm. This might not work. I'm gonna try it, and then if I'm struggling too much, I will change my tactic. Rectangle glasses! I remembered that. That is actually not very good. Not, not a rectangle. Octangle. Octagon. <laughs> very clearly doesn't draw a rectangle. Rectangle. I really went, yeah, that's a rectangle. That looks, that looks like a, that's enough of a rectangle. It works for me. F works for me. Fine by me. Okay. Something like that. And, um... Chin. Whoops, nope. Like this? Line, line, everywhere. Please look like I know what I'm doing. If I just do a lot of scribbles. Does the chin need to be maybe... Rounder? Yeah, you guys can tell. I really, just the moment a character looks up, I no longer know how to draw them. Yeah, I'm gonna hide Goldie for a second. I'm gonna hide Goldie and I'm gonna, let me think about this. So if like, this is where the nose is, right? This is where the nose is. So the mouth is like here. Hold on. Nose. Mouth. You look up. Uh. Chin? Gosh, why? Why do I always want to draw poses that I just don't understand? And why are there so many poses I don't understand? Okay, I don't think I'll be able to succeed. But I'm going to try a little bit more and then decide if I want to keep trying or give up. That's, uh, that's what we're going to aim for. And we shall see. Yeah, it's not really. First of all, that eye is just not good. It's not really working. Ah! I just want to be cool and do cool things. I just want to be cool and do cool things. Is that too much to ask for, chat? Chat, is that too much to ask for? Apparently so. Apparently so. Um. Yeah, it's not gonna. Alright, it's not gonna work. We're calling it quits. And I'm deleting everything. I am gonna actually just copy and paste Goldie over. Because I want to get about the. Or not. Come on. Work with me here. I want to get the right. There we go. Size. 
for the face. Okay, so L can be. L's definitely gonna have a smile because that is just. That's L for ya. Big grin. Big grin! And. Do the nose. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> really trying to do it without any guidelines. It's fine. I'll copy kind of Goldie's. See how that works for me. But the chin does need to be a bit closer. So something like... Um... Okay. Something a little bit more tilted. I zoomed in instead of tilting my screen. And then I tilted my screen the wrong way. I'm experiencing things, chat. I'm experiencing a lot of things. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, my brain. Send help. My brain is fried. I am fried. I am fried. My brain is fried. Who am I? Chat, who am I anymore? I'm confused. I don't think I know myself. Tilt. Okay. Let's do uh, the eye and the nose and the pupil and the eyebrow. And then the, the, the smile. I don't want to draw the other eye. The other eye is what kills me. Okay. Uh, yep, there, there's your prime example. There's your prime example of the other eye being what kills me. Okay. Well, you know what they say, if you can't do it, don't do it. I want to grab this eyeball. Copy, paste, flip. Oops, there you go. Something like that. Something like that. Put the eye right here. Nice. I'm gonna move some of the face too. Uh, ah! Move. Work with me. Work with me or I cry. I think this eye actually needs to be tilted. Oh, wrong part! Here we go. This eye needs to be tilted a little bit more. Okay, so tilt that. And actually. Fix the nose a little bit. Or actually, I'm gonna erase. Be gone, fool! You didn't look good. You made me sad, and I'm the one who made you. Okay, there you go. Better! Okay. Bring the smile back. Bring the smile back. Oh, the smile is what's killing me. The smile is the problem? Olive XD is pretty, but the OG Olive is the prettiest. Olive XD is just basically, I designed an outfit that I thought was prettier than what my usual outfit is. And I went, yeah. Boom. <laughs> and that was that. Oh, my shoulder just popped. On the topic of Olive XD, though, it is probably time to change back. So here we go. It's me! I'm back! Did you miss me? Was I missed? Or was it good riddance? Hmm. Tell the truth. Why am I... Is it the mouth? Or is it the eye? No, though. Hold on. I think the... I can't do a straight line! I think the eyes are okay. That might be better. Maybe. Maybe! Okay, so face, chin, well, it's not the chin. 
what is that called? Uh, freaking uh, jawline? I really know my English, don't I? I really know my terminologies. I know it all. I'm smart. Okay. I still think this eye is being a problem. Is it like not tilted enough? What's wrong? What it what's Ah What is with something something's bothering me, chat. And for the life of me, I don't know what it is. What is my issue? Hold on. Okay, it actually might have been the face. Because I think that looks better now. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna- we're- we're gonna run with it. Um. I'm trying to remember SBL off the top of my head. Because I- I'm gonna be so real, guys. I'm just too lazy. Too lazy to go rummaging for a ref. Um, sorry. Not sorry. I feel like I've drawn L enough to kind of know anyways. I just might not get the hair perfectly correct or whatever. We got the crown. Easy peasy. Oh, it was supposed to be a short one. Okay, crown. And then we've got strand of hair that goes like this. We've got one that goes like under or whatever. I'm definitely not doing this completely correct. I know this for a fact now that I'm actually drawing this hair because the hair is a little bit different than what it was in the past so but you know it is what it is. Ooh, it's not working very well. Okay, I'll give in and I'll go look at a reference, but I really don't wanna. I, cause I don't, I never have easy access to the SBL reference despite constantly having it sent to me. I am in a constant state of being given the SBL reference and then not saving it anywhere and then not wanting to pull it up again. And being like, oh, come on. <laughs> I do it to myself, chat. I do it to myself, and then I cry about it. Okay. I'm just gonna grab my own drawing, because this is the first thing I saw. This is my own drawing. Yippee! Yippee, my own drawing. Using my own- ah! everything went away okay it's fine it's all fine chat we just gotta we just gotta keep going okay crown oh my gosh i hate drawing curved lines they never do what they're supposed to do and it makes me sad crown um i'm just gonna do this that will make the bottom part of the crown that works. That works. Let me see real quick. I want to switch to... When this song ends, I'm switching to a different playlist. Because my other playlist actually ran out, and now it's just giving me random stuff. I don't know why. Because I turned off Smart Shuffle. But no, no chat. It insists on enabling Smart Shuffle. And just giving me random music. And even though I said that I didn't want it turned on. Why does it do this? I don't know. Because it hates me. Because it hates me and it wants to make me sad. Because I say, oh, no, thank you. I'd rather just play my playlist. And it says, oh, well, we don't respect you enough for that. So sure. We'll make it look like we're just gonna play your playlist. But then we're gonna give you random songs. And you have no choice over it. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, chat. How dare they? Here. Better. We call a spider that loves to ice skate. Ice spider? 
spider skater skater I don't freaking know I don't freaking know man I don't think this is a good crown another thing that eludes me crowns a slider oh cuz it slides across the ice spider-man what are you <laughs> I'm sorry when did Spider-Man <laughs> Spider-Man secretly loves to ice skate? Real not clickbait. Do you have the proof? Do you have the video proof of Spider-Man ice skating down the ice rink? Do ya? Do ya? I don't think I did this crown right. I think I did too many of the little crown prongs. Now I'm just sad, chat. Okay. Uh, sorry. That's just the sound of me mentally losing my mind. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't need to be mentally stable. What do you mean mentally stable? I don't believe in mental stability, but you know what I do believe in? Insanity. And desperation. Both. Both are good. Slider man, slider man, sliding across the ice rink. Yeah, he can, he can, he can those figure eights. He can those figure eights? He can those figure eights. He can't do them, but he can can them. Wow, crazy. I, how do you can those? How do they fit in a can? That's, I, I personally wouldn't be able to fit them in a can, so that's pretty talented. I'm impressed. Really, really and truly, being able to can, like, an action, wow, takes, uh, takes some power, takes some concentration and, and uh, passion. Hey, I can't no more, I gotta get out of here, <laughs> run away, run away like the coward you are, you make a mistake in my chat, I'll call you out, you wanna know why I'll call you out? Because you do the same to me. Y'all call me out for my little mistakes. You guys go, oh, Olive, you're having another stroke, Olive. Oh, you should probably go to the hospital, Olive. Oh, you forgot how to speak English. I'm just getting my revenge. This is what happens when you wrong me. I mock you and your own mistakes. No one is safe. I'm, I'm not safe from this drawing. Oh, gosh. I hate hair. I hate it. With, like, an undying passion. An extremely undying passion. My gosh. Send. Send me help. I drew it. But I don't think it's very good. I didn't mean to erase that. I just wanted to move it over. Man, dyslexia foils my plans once again. <laughs> Get foiled. <laughs> it happens, man. We all get a little bit of plan foil and action when we can't read. I mean, just look at me. I go live and I'm supposed to read chat. Like, th they expect me to read chat. But then y'all are, like, speaking, like, words, and I don't speak words, alright? I don't speak words, so that's, that's a lot to unpack right there, you know? I don't know what they're expecting from me, but they're over-expecting it from me, because it's not happening. It's not happening, trust me. Okay. Um, shoulder... Shoulder. Tie. Or whatever the heck I'm looking at here. Kind of a tie. A little bit like a... Ah! I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Had to. Had to cry. Had to scream. Throw up. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. As you do. You know? As you do in this world. When you need to cry, throw up, scream, and, and etc. It happens. It simply happens. 
I'm I'm leaving it at that. I don't have enough care in my in my body for for any more. What is this picture? Be gone. Be gone. Um, where's the hair? Here we go. Uh, whoa! I wh hello. How do I get rid of you? Freaking Sheba scaring the crap out of me, popping up out of nowhere. Had to scream and shout and let it all out as you do, simply as you do. Let a mesh transform. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tad. Is that better? I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm just gonna aggressively use my mesh transform right now, guys. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's all fine. Couldn't find Goldie for a second there. How did L still end up smaller than Goldie? I purposely was trying to make sure I drew them like the same size and it didn't work. How? How? Okay. There. Now they fit a little bit better. Gosh darn it. Drawing jeans agony. See, that's why I never want to draw jeans. That's why I avoid them like the plague. They scare me. They scare me a lot. Alright, we got the siblings. And we've got the wolf man who's got Goldie very alarmed. Oh, and boxes. Look at the siblings, guys. I know that the eye isn't colored and I don't care. Look at the siblings. Your honor, I care for them. That's why I just don't draw. <laughs> hey, you can't, like, suffer from drawing if you don't draw. Did you know that if you never pick up a pencil, a pencil will never hurt you? That's actually not true. People can throw pencils at you. S Anyone ever get pencils thrown at them? <laughs> just started thinking about that. I want to just work for the rest of the stream on doing some coloring on this one. Because we don't have a lot of time left. So I'm just going to chill for it. We're just going to go to chill mode. i got to open a drawing of SB Olive though. Oh, well, dang. Y'all- y'all are talking to the- the kid who got pushed in a trash can one time, so like, of course I also had, like, things get thrown periodically at me. Although it was mostly just my friends wanted to throw things at me, because things are very throwable, honestly. Where is SB Olive? Hello? SB Olive? Here we go. Here we go. Do we have one with your other dress? Oh, I guess your dress is just white, isn't it? I guess it don't matter, huh? Okay. We'll just take this then. Fine by me. Gotta scroll down. Here we go. Here we go. Did I... Okay. Wait, what color is this? Is this her base color? Okay, that's her base color. This is her darker color got it i was a little confused but i figured it out you guys i figured it out i really like drawing um sb olive pretty ghost but i'm pretty sure when she was alive she was probably terrifying looking like guys we have to admit that she probably did not look that great she probably looked kind of scary in life. She was probably uncomfortable to be around. I didn't like how that turned out. Went British for a second there. Hey, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I go a little bit British. It happens. What, you've never gone British before? Are you British? How many- are there any British people here? <laughs> Raise your hand if you're British. Yeah, Decaying Body wasn't the best company at the party. Heh. <laughs> it's okay. Because then the Decaying Body asked their bestie to stab them. Bro, imagine becoming best friends with a Decaying Body. 
And then the decaying body goes, please, stab me, kill me, do it, please, please. And you're just like, ah! I'm gonna maybe have this come back, come back. Okay. Like that. I'm trying to get the. Come on, work with me here. Work with me. Work with me. All right. I need your help. I need you to kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh! I should do that audio. I should do that audio, but with SB Olive. Oh no. That's horrible, but true. Spellbound recap. What happened at the beach party? I need your help. Man, that was such a... That was such a beach party. Uh, freaking... Planned and arranged an entire beach party just to die on purpose hey guys i i helped arrange and plan this whole thing i'm gonna go die now i hope you guys had a good day oh it was a great day until you died sorry about that <laughs> i was feeling a little silly goofy and quirky and had to get stabbed through the chest not even the chest but the stomach the gut Right on, just sliced right through. Clean like butter. Just, just real, real clean. It's raining? I wish it was raining over here. Olive made rain? Nah, I wish though. I wish though. I want some rain. Honestly, falling asleep to rain sounds so nice right now. Oh, I would love that. I had to think about where to put my marker. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, why- If- Okay. If there had been a way to- To heal SB Olive rather than kill her, she would have been so pretty. Like, we have to admit that if there had been a way to heal her and remove Decay, but she stayed, you know, how she looked, she would have been so pretty. The things we lost- that's okay. It's fine. Because now we have Goldie. It's fine. Espy Olive. Yeah, the party was great till you know, you died. Espy Olive. Well, that's why I planned that at the end. Duh. She was, I mean, that's, that's accurate. She was like, we're gonna have fun, and then I'll die. What? Alright. Ears. The ears. Alright. That one. And this one. Okay. Got those. What else? Okay, this goes down half the arm, but you can't really see it anyways, so it doesn't matter. What about the legs? Legs goes down to the knees. Alright, you can see that. Cool. Alright. To the knees. Like that. Boom. And now, the other one. Ah, I've lost my pencil for a second. Hmm. Espy Olive. Huh, guess I'm not sick anymore. Walks through paces and falls into a hole. That is not what would happen. Knees! Hi, Ellie. How are you? How are you doing? Ellie, Ellie, I love the camping trio. The camping trio, my beloved. I love them. They're just, they're 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 so cute, and they're just little guys, and they're just going about camping and and learning things. He'll be SB all, but she's playing dress to impress with the baddies. <laughs> what? <laughs> dress to impress with the baddies? Hello? They would work together. They would work together. <sighs> My heart. My heart. Anyways, welcome to the stream. I was doing some doodles. I, I only really got this one of Goldie not being a fan of Shiva and this one of the siblings. And now I'm just doing a little bit of coloring.
because I've had this for a while and I really need to work on it. You're not on that side of TikTok? I guess not. I'm on the side of TikTok where I have to constantly scroll as fast as possible to try and get it to stop giving me videos of people eating crumble cookies while staring into my soul. It's really uncomfortable, you guys. TikTok has thrust me into the world of people eating crumble cookies, and I don't like that content. I don't need to watch people eating crumble cookies while they stare directly into the camera and slowly nod, and I'm like, Ugh! I don't like it, you guys. I really don't like it. It's not fun. TikTok is weird. Very weird. You're right on that one. Oh, I will never emotionally recover from this. Bow, bow. Never heard of crumble cookie? Basically giant cookies. Giant cookies. Just huge, huge cookies. That's like all you really need to know. They're cookies, but they're absolutely giant and they're very well known and for some reason People decided that, oh, I'm gonna eat them and stare into the camera, and it, it makes me uncomfy. I don't think I like eye contact while eating food. I, th I think I actually don't like it at all. I think I actually hate it. Freckles? What else? Ah, she scratched a few freckles on the face. Alas, how could I forget? How could I forget such an important detail? Half of her face is dissolved, but I'm gonna draw the freckles anyway. I tried crumble cookie, kind of mid. It's just a lot of sugar. It is a lot of sugar. I will say, I went to my old workplace recently, because I used to work, you know, at a doggy daycare, and I still take my dog there even though I don't work there anymore. And I walk in, and they're like, oh, hey, do you want crumble cookies and i was like what and they're like we have two dozen crum they were like five minutes until closing like we have two dozen crumble cookies please take one take half of one however much just take something i was like whoa we are desperate okay it's kind of funny though you're like welcome on in here's your dog would you like a cookie sure i'll i'll take a cookie Bring back SBL for an episode or two in season two. Literally impossible. Completely impossible. She is so gone. She's so gone. It's not, that's not even a possibility in the slightest sense of possibilities. That's actually one of the most impossible things you could ever ask. That's, you know, they say there's no such thing as impossible. This is, that's impossible. She's gone, guys. She is gone like the wind. Please, there's too many crumble cookies. They were panicking, man. Oh, hi, Hatsune. <laughs> they were panicking. They were like, you want any? We can't eat these. We don't know what to do. I was like, why, why do you have two dozen crumble cookies? And they went, we don't know. It's like there was any recent, like, freaking event in the world what's the what are they called holidays <laughs> i forgot the word for holidays and i called it event in the world <laughs> me me when it's christmas but it's not the holiday it's the event in the world imagine if instead of being called holidays they were called events in the world that would be horrible and i'm so glad that they're not called that i <laughs> Happy event in the world day, everybody. Yippee. I did my best, guys. I did my best. Thank you for the head pats, by the way. Love me a festive event in the world day. <laughs> I did all I could. I did all that I could. It's just that what I could do wasn't great. I'm telling y'all, my brain is not with me today. And I think everyone can agree with me on that one. Like, no one- Ah! Sorry. My tab just tried to be a jerk to me. 
No one would be against me if I said my brain is not with me right now. Because just the entire stream, I think my brain has been a little bit on the frazzled side. Just a... Just a tad, you know? And when I say a tad, I mean a lot. It's it's all gone. It's all gone so far down the drain. There's no retrieving it. It's game over. We did our best, but we failed, and it'll never be okay ever again. Oh, jeez. Hi, Ink. Hello, Pokeballs. Pokeballs. Was that fun? Are you pleased? I am not coloring in the lines anymore. I've grown tired. I've grown tired of being good. Lines are a concept, and I shall no longer listen to them. My time has come to be the problem. Hello, how are you today? I am good, thank you for asking. A little brain fried, a little tired, but overall pretty good, you know? Alive and well and functioning and breathing. And I used an ATM for the first time today. So I've, I've learned something. I've learned today. I've gained knowledge in my life. Crazy, huh? Absolutely insane. I'm gonna finish up the hair and then I'll probably have to call it for stream because I think my mom is finishing up with getting dinner set. And I do want to go join them. So we're just gonna do top of her hair. Is this how it works? <laughs> Me not remembering how her hair works. Ahaha! Ha. She's been dead for a while, so like I have an excuse for not remembering how her hair works exactly. She's dead. Atsune Miku. Congratulations. Let's see. Let's see. I think... I don't think there's any of the dark on the hair in this chunk of hair right here. Hatsune Miku? Hatsune Miku sometimes jumps into stream. It happens. It happens. Alright, this is just like the ends. So like that? Is it the back of the hair too? I don't actually know. I don't actually remember if it's the back of her hair or just these strands. I've forgotten. I've forgotten so much about SB Olive. Guys, this is this is horrible. She's been dead for so long, and I haven't drawn her in so long, I've forgotten so much about her. It might also be in the back of her hair. Hold on. Oops. Not quite. Like this? Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. I don't even know if that's correct, but we're going with it. It's fine. I'm calling it. And so we're doing it. Do some more little strand pieces here. Like so, because I said so. Miksu, hello, welcome on in, how you doing? How you doing, Miksu? I hope you are having a good day. I hope life has been going well. I'm trying to get this hair strand to look good. Come on, work with me, please. Here we go, here we go. And then the darker color. Good, try to draw with my finger. Ooh, that's never easy. I wish you the best of luck. I I wish you the best of luck and to not go insane. But you might you might go insane. There's a high possibility. Wow. What a concept. What a concept indeed. What a concept indeed. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on into the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Alright, that's that's pretty good hair, I think. That's that's some solid hair. I need to color her eyeballs or I will never know where her eyes are. Because <laughs> for the life of me, I keep zooming out and being like, where are her eyes? Where are her eyes? They just, they're blended in. You can't see them. Here we go. Here we go. And this one, oh, okay. Oh, I'm being bullied. There we go. This one is, uh... Oh gosh, the hair is outside the lines right here. I'm losing my mind, chat. Chat, I'm losing it. I think I'm going insane. You know, 
It might be time to simply go insane. Oh, whoa. That was not what I was expecting. Jeez, I know I said I was going insane, but you didn't have to do me like that. I didn't mean it. I was just being silly. I didn't mean it. Being bullied. Being bullied by my own artwork, you guys. Just maybe deserved, but still. How dare. How dare. Alright. I know it's not in the lines. It's not in the lines at all. But at least I can see her eyes now. She's pretty. She's so pretty. And dead. I also forgot to draw her shoes. She's just going barefoot. Don't ask me questions. I'm so used to drawing. Just, no, there's no way to say that without sounding weird. I, I'm not used to drawing shoes. That's the better way of saying it. Um, I'm not used to drawing shoes. So it's kind of kind of my weakness right there. Yeah. <laughs> Place that sentence down right there and move on like a normal member of society. Just going to sloppily try and color in or fill most of this dress without Oh, well, you know what? I thought for a second there that that was going to go behind the layer, but then then it didn't. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in what I can and then I'll have to go back and be more careful with the rest. It looks like she's getting married, but she's not. She's dead. She's getting married to the Grim Reaper as she dies. You could say that. You, c <laughs> you could say she's getting married to the Grim Reaper because she's dying. <laughs> oh no. That's horrible. That's so horrible. I'm so sorry. Imagine if that's just what people said when people died. It's okay, sweetie. Your grandma is just going to get married to the Grim Reaper. <laughs> will I ever see grandma again? One day you too will marry the Grim Reaper. And then perhaps you will see grandma again. <laughs> Getting married to the- dang, you got the joke before me. Haha! <laughs> yeah, I did. I can be- I can be fast with jokes sometimes. Just not all the time. Alright. Oh, okay! I- <laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard my mom, <laughs> but my mom just said that dinner's ready. <laughs> so I am going to end off here. <laughs> I doubt the mic picked it up. Can someone divorce the Grim Reaper? Probably not, because that's like implying, like, living again. I don't know. It's dinner time, so let's see who's live on Twitch, so I can raid and run and get some food. Mm, we can go raid Star, actually. Star is playing Spore. Alright. <laughs> Jesus, can. Ah, not wrong. All right, we're gonna raid Star Boy Blue. Star is playing some Spore. So go ahead, join that raid. Raid message is screen in all caps. If you are sub, you can use the screen emote. If you're not sub, that is totally fine. Just say screen, gets the point across perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We got, we got a little bit of work done. We got this doodle, we got that doodle. And we got this. Not not, a, not the most I've done before. I've done more in one stream. But, you know, it was a little bit of a warm-up day. My art was kind of struggling with me. So I'm proud of what we got for what I had going on. I, you know, just couldn't draw faces. That was my main issue. Which is kind of always my issue. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be on the Discord later drawing. Ooh, get that art in. Try not to die when you draw jeans. I believe in you. Thank you guys again for watching the stream. Thank you everyone who lurked. Followed, rated, etc., etc. I appreciate it so, so much. Time to rewatch the VOD as I draw my finger. <laughs> With my finger. As you draw your finger. I just, I need to like go sit in silence and think about myself or something. Man, I'm. <laughs> Join that raid. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go try and fix my brain and eat some food. And as always, until next time.
Bye-bye.